stream dropping. Oh. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to address the horse elephant elephant in the room very quickly first. We did mention it last week, but there's significantly less of us this week than there is normally. Um, we locked them in the basement. We did hide them in the basement. Um, they didn't do their homework. I'd like to think we were just worried about Cal. So Q's just down there watching him. Yeah, just doing <laughs> uh, we we begin to think he's hearing voices. Um <laughs> just slight concern. Um that big. but oh. in all seriousness, uh Jay is being the deputy stage manager. I really hope I've gotten that right. I believe that is what he said, yes. Yes. Um for a show. So we're all very happy for him. Um, and some fantastic pictures have appeared. So we're very, very, very impressed. And we're hoping that, you know, we'll break a leg. Um, and Cal is unfortunate. Uh, Panic is unfortunately not with us this week, but should be back for the next session. Um, and we will not be having a session next week because it is Thanksgiving for all of the people in America. Yes, I had to check the calendar. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is, yeah. I'm pretty sure I will be occupied. But, <laughs> yes, just to address the elephant in the room before we go any further. Um, yes, yellow and red is gone, but we still have green, black and blue. Um, the cool people are still here. It's fine. The cool people are still here. Everything will be fine. Nothing bad can happen. And on that note, we will all introduce ourselves. I am Matthew. I am the GM for this lovely bunch of cool people. And this is episode 16. For, yeah, I've questioned it as I said that. No, it is that episode correct. 16. Um, that's really so cool. Sweet 16. Yeah. Cool things are going to happen. I have I've definitely been in more episodes. Definitely than not. been in more episodes now than you haven't. A hundred percent. We shall party like it's nineteen ninety nine. And Lord. I'll pass it on to the players to introduce themselves in whichever chaotic fashion they wish to do so. I was say because that the, the what's the order? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I am Michael. I am. Sitting here in my fluffy dressing gown, I will be playing Peter, your Green Ranger. It's cold. It's winter. It, it's cold. I don't have a warmer sweater, so I'm committing to the bit for now. Uh, hi, I'm Anne, and I'm playing Sophie, the Blue Ranger. I am also Michael, and I'm playing Sarah, the Black Ranger. We thought we'd do something different because it's going to be a few weeks where we're going to be missing some people um is it another montage it's kind <laughs> montage. of montage last week the thunder rangers and the lightspeed rescue rangers had finally begun to build bridges um every time Identities had been revealed. Some unintentionally, some rather intentionally. Um, some people just seemed intent on revealing to the world who they were. Uh, I don't but it's all cool. Power Rangers, everybody's fine. It's all good. Zordon's not here to tell anybody off. And who listens to the floating disembodied head anyway? It's all good. But not us, not no. anymore. We had <laughs> a lovely uh, sort of beach party. And I say beach party because it was taking place in the simulation slash training room. And Alpha, Kruger, and Doctor slash Miss Fairweather showed off the upgrades that had been made to the Thunder Rangers suits. 
in the form of some, I think, some rather cool little technological abilities, allowing them to, well, allowing the Green Ranger, for example, to have a bit of a dip in the waters outside and swim with his Zord. My dragon. Yep. With the environmentally sealed grid power. We can go to space now. You can go to space now. Not that that should be foreshadowing anything. Especially we are as going to steal the moon. At the end of the episode, the Titanium Ranger approached Rito, who was standing there or sitting there with Rita, Zed, and uh, the Slayer. And proposed an alliance. Rito didn't seem too interested. It was more sort of, you guys stay on your side, we'll stay on our side. Everything will be fine. But yeah. It has been two weeks since that day. And I'd like to ask the Power Rangers what they have been up to in those two weeks. Um, and mm. we'll go, we'll go from right to left because we've started from left to right. So what has Sophie been up to in the past two weeks? Uh, trying to, uh, live a normal life maybe uh in between being a power ranger and everything else on her plate the first thing she's done is schedule an appointment with her advisor and uh discuss possibly changing majors she also um gave um what's her name uh annika the middle finger and said you know what uh you're absolutely right you're obviously the best i'm sure you'll be very successful but uh some things have come up in my life and i'm changing majors uh good luck with that and then um she has mostly been training keeping up her grades to a point where she can at least um maintain her scholarship uh I don't know if there's been any gymnastics competitions to prepare for, like, in the season, uh, but she is, uh, hopefully she's, like, recovered from almost getting her butt kicked, or getting her butt kicked, almost getting utterly no. destroyed by the Ranger Slayer. Um, so she maybe took a couple of days to recover from that, and then... Yeah, so those are the two major changes in her life. Uh, changing her, um, changing her major to just kind of a, just a general biology major, as opposed to specifically pre-med, just to kind of back off her, um, the intensity of her schoolwork. Um, yeah. She has been spending a lot of time back flipping and training and working out. Um, yeah. And uh, possibly at some point over those two weeks have has made regular visits back to Mariner Bay. And, um, you know, like her weekly check-in with Dana. She's driven the two hours. She does not teleport. Um she drives because she does, she enjoys the drive um and she doesn't use like ranger tech or zords unless she really has to she's very um she's very good about following that rule um so she drives partially because driving lets her clear her mind um so she's hung out with dana and um checked in Probably at some point during that, during those two weeks, she's spent, she's uh, reached out to Carter for, uh, you know, that uh, contest that they ended up teaming up for. 
Um, ninja ni- warrior. Nin- ninja, ninja, ninja warrior. I hate it so much. I just want you to know that, Matt. I, I love so it. I hate it and I love it. Can, uh, just, uh, for clarity, is it actually Ninja hosting it? Yeah, absolutely. You thousand percent. Um, <laughs> all, <laughs> all did. So, yeah, she would have she would have hung out with Carter and become better acquainted with the Red Lightspeed Ranger. Giggity. No, it's not like that. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would you rather Sophie got better acquainted with Peter instead? Are you jealous? No. <laughs> you know, if she wants to flip flop between people, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look. She's not gonna sit around and wait. She has like ADHD. Um <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's yeah, she intends to have a conversation with Carter. Uh, I don't know if you want to play that out, but at some point she doesn't. I don't know if she had that conversation already or if she. Um, I think she would have had that conversation with with him um, about uh, her concerns uh, about Dana. Um, and uh, essentially it's like yeah I know you by reputation but you gotta step up as a leader and uh, make sure your medic doesn't completely have a meltdown she's going through a lot of stuff so she would have had that that conversation with Carter Um, I can see Carter being quite receptive he's He's very good at the, as as we've established, leading by example. Um, yeah. Less so. The other fun parts of leading, like checking in with your team, making sure everybody's okay. After action reports, paperwork, <laughs> reviews. That that sounds like so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Riveting. I think, I think Sophie I think Sophie would uh like empathize about it. She would also be like, Yeah, it doesn't work like that for us. Maybe we sh- we should start doing things like that a little bit. But um no. <laughs> But um essentially she would just say like I understand the impulse of uh just going and doing the thing even though it's dangerous you know um i'm the kind of person that you know jumps in and helps people and doesn't really think about my own safety and it's kicked my butt really recently so um i think it would serve both of us but especially you as a leader to take a step back and maybe um Look at the bigger picture. So that's kind of the vibe that she's trying to um, <laughs> come across to Carter. Um, it's like, yeah, I get it. I'm the same way. Is he also a community helper? <laughs> he actually does <laughs> have community helper, helper yes. Um... So that so 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 like Sophie can instinctively just connect to that part of Carter that. With Instinctively their, just yeah, jumps with in. With their hang-ups, yeah. He's good at jumping in to save the day. Less so thinking about himself or the consequences of jumping in to save the day. Yeah. And and Sophie, Sophie understands that. Um, she also says, uh, you and I are different. We wear different colors and you know people count on you for leadership and they look to you to have your head on straight and keep cool so um 
I'm mostly bringing this up because I'm really concerned about about Dana. She's been going through a lot lately with the Titanium Ranger showing up. Yeah, well, we're really going to have to keep an eye on him. If, mm. well, he is her brother. I've been trying to, well, I've considered actually pulling her from the field if we encounter him again. I'm not sure she should have to fight him. And I'm not sure he will give her that choice. I have something to um, suggest to you. Um, what if you send her to Angel Grove? We are... Uh, we're a couple of rangers short. We could use the backup. And if you need a medic, I can jump in and fight in her place. It could be interesting. It could keep her out of trouble. She could spend some time uh, with Cal. Wait. Wait, wait, <laughs> you say keep her out of trouble, I can't promise she will be out of trouble in Angel Grove. There it's just a aliens. different kind of trouble. Yeah. Although it will be interesting Look, to see whether or not our weapons work against them. It's, it's just something I am... Um... I'm offering as a solution if you are concerned about Dana. I'll bring it up with her father. Mm -hmm. And then she says, yeah, I'm totally captain, have you? Not yet. Okay. Um, I'm still warming. I'm still, tr I'm still considering how to warm up the team to that. I don't know if they feel comfortable uh revealing themselves to the captain just yet so we're gonna not do that yet um but it's good to have you guys on board and on our side at least it's nice to be able to work together even share intel share technology And nice to be able to have these conversations. I know. I thought Dana was going to be so mad at me. I think she kind of was. Ugh. I mean, we've been best friends for like four years now. Almost five. And she sounded, she sounded terribly disappointed or upset that... Um, I kept this whole being a ranger thing from her, but I think now that it's out in the open, things will be better for all of us. It can't get worse. And no, no, bit. don't say that. It <laughs> can always get worse. On that note, we're going to see what Sarah has been up to. The past. Oh, speaking of getting words, I see how it is. <laughs> <coughs> well, <clears throat> class, finally. <laughs> uh, I want to say that uh, she's definitely been going to cheer practice. That's a thing. Mm hmm. She's on the fucking on the, on the cheer squad. That's definitely not weird at all. Being around that many people, many peppy people. She will notice <laughs> with the cheer squad that Q's mother has not been back to lead the practices. The first practice since the incident at the power plant was cancelled. The second, they've brought in um, a new trainer very quickly no mention of where she is 
just she's indisposed. Weird. All right. Uh, I want to say that rent auditions have finally come and gone. Mm -hmm. And we are waiting for results. Go ahead and throw me a performance roll in there. <laughs> yeah. Internet works. See, I get edge on this. Change. Is there a difficulty, or are we just uh, just seeing how do? what's sitting there for me, and let me know what you got. I do. Eh, it just showed up. Although that is a crit. It's a fourteen, though. It is still a critical for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was with Edge. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's better than the eight it would have been. Yeah, true. I will say that she... Part of that might be because she's vying for a non-traditional role. She's angling for the role of Mark instead of one of the female characters. Okay. It affects things. And uh, she's definitely been trying to hang out with Kelsey. And definitely in preparation for Ninja or Warrior. And that's the only reason. <laughs> but yeah. Uh... Uh, either at her place or mine, you know. And that I am absolutely using the teleporters. I don't have a car. I'm gonna say steal someone's uh, car again. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Sophie would probably <laughs> not even be at the dorm. So if you had Kelsey over, it wouldn't even be a big deal. <laughs> oh no, not no. Ooh, not that. that no. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I Whoa. mean, it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> I'm at the command Power center. Ranger on campus. Can you imagine the attention? You're just hanging out with a random student. That's definitely not weird at all. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm at the uh, hollow, hollow student. Our danger room or her danger room. Trading for ninja. There's something. Oh, and uh, just on her own, she's been in in the training room working on her aim. After getting her ass handed to her by Kim, she's uh, a little fed up with that. It is working to get a little get a little back next time Kim pops up. I think that's yeah, and work. Lots of lots of rolling around the uh, juice bar. I know how words mean. <laughs> <laughs> Has she seen her brother since? Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Him. You know, Kelsey, Kelsey's very distracting. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely been trying to spend time with Wyatt. It's probably still a little awkward. I don't know if that they've actually had the how is your what has happened in your life conversation yet on either side. Because that's traumatic. <laughs> At least for Sarah. More sort of small talk. Skirting around yeah. the edges of those big conversations. <laughs> She's probably either he picked up on it or she mentioned about how how into Kelsey she is. 
I'd like to think the uh, frequent visits. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Wyatt. Training with Kelsey. I'll catch you <laughs> for some food afterwards. Exactly. Lunch later? <laughs> yeah. Might have given the uh, game away a little bit there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and well, then... That's pretty much what Sarah has been up to. In fact, see, you've kind of um, possibly shot yourself in the foot a little bit here. Because I'm going to ask you to make a roll for me. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a social roll. I just need to double. I'm good check. at some of those. Can I make it performance? You cannot make it performance. Um, <laughs> I said social. Uh, can you make me a persuasion roll? That oh, I can't I didn't do. mean to do that. Difficulty? Uh, the difficulty. I'm just grabbing it for you. The difficulty will be 16. God. All right, D2, let's go. Ugh. It's all good. Nope. (laughs) Kelsey doesn't seem to have noticed your interest in her, at least at this point. That's fine. But there's nothing bad happened. All right. It feels ominous. No, I promise. <laughs> dun, no dun, ominous. Dun. And Peter. 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 Peter, Peter. <laughs> Hello there. What have you been up to? How many things have you blown up? <laughs> oh, we're going to find out. Uh, that, that's what's going to happen. Like, we're about to find out. Pete has been a busy boy. We had a command center. We don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now that he can venture out in the ocean with his dragon sword, something he's wanted to do for ages, he has been spending quite a bit of time with him. I going out swimming, and I'd, I'd like to... Can I roll a technology check to see if Peter can do maintenance on the Dragon Zord's vocal cords? <laughs> you can. <laughs> the difficulty Duh. for that is going to be 25... Oh really? Come on! I'm, like Pete's had extensive like learning but on the Zords, and I'm going to give you an upshift. The question about Pete's eyebrows—they're like half grown back by this point. <laughs> um, we're not at you know, the full thing. eyebrow, yeah. and we're not like half an eyebrow. They're just sparse. <laughs> The thing about having a consistent viewer and a consistent fan is yes. those questions come up. I love it, because I put my hand up. Not to give you questions. I had actually written it in my notes how long it would take, but I had forgotten. Shout out to Davey. Yes, big shout out to Davey, because I love that. <laughs> but what was the difficulty again, mate? The difficulty was 25. Can it be 21? It cannot be 21. Good job okay. getting that <laughs> But 21's impressive. I got a 17 on the D20 and a 4 on the D8. That's pretty impressive. Oh, that throws that into a bucket then. <laughs> I want to say, even though I didn't get to do my goal with it, I want to say that he's less, like, screechy and it has helped, like, the sound of his, like, roar a little bit. It's deep. <clears throat> but less, like, harsh-sounding. Um, so it's made him seem a little less grumpy. Yeah. Um, less then... 
It's a little more Sean Connery make... in, in that dragon movie. He's trying to make the dragon zord more sexy. More friendly, <laughs> sexy approachable, user friendly. Well, apart <laughs> upon some research, um, <laughs> it would appear that the the, the zords potentially um, that could speak from what. Pete has seen in, in notes and things. So he's trying to see if the Dragon Sword just has a problem with his voice box and he's trying to fix it. <laughs> um, so uh, aside from that, um, Pete now has the mentor perk. Um, so I'd like to say I have been spending some time with my mentor, which is none other than the good old Cladoius Pete. Um, in, uh. in my opinion, in my personal headcanon, Claydoyus Pete knows that Pete is the Green Ranger since that first interaction seeing Cal with the Morphed Rangers, but it's kind of like an unspoken thing between the two of them. Like, neither of them will confirm or deny that they know or are. It's just kind of a mutual, we don't talk about this sort of thing. So Pete has also been doing a lot of, a lot of research um, into the Morphing Grid. Um, and Eldarian tech, uh, specifically with Claydoyus Pete, not to give too much away, the more Eldarian, I know I said Eldarian, excuse me, um, the more Eldarian tech, um, rather than morphing grid stuff and then kind of trying to work that in, in his spare time, um, for a project he's going to ask Alpha about a bit later. Um, so I don't know if I need to roll a technology check for that at all, just to see if I've learned any information that I wanted to learn. Not to see if you've learned any information. If you want to try and apply information, you might have learned. So yeah, I don't want to apply to... anything yet. Yeah, that's what. I but thought. more like, more like just uh, trying to put like a, a theory together, almost ready to be put into mm -hmm. motion, but not yet. If that makes sense, because mm -hmm. I feel like it need a lot more than what I'm planning. Um, and yeah, other than that, he has just been looking into specifically connecting with how, how we all connect to the morphing grid specifically. Um, and yeah, other than that, he's been going to class, um, and I'm, I'm going to do a technology role for being in class just to see if I have blown anything up. Cause I feel like it's a thing that needs to be done now. So yes, hundred percent. I rolled a 25. I, I actually rolled a 25 on that one. So I'm going to say that I didn't blow anything up. Unless you make the difficulty 26, then I'm no, going to cry. You did not blow <laughs> 25. In fact, you've been doing incredibly well in class. Um, and could potentially be the reason Clay Doyle has also yeah. kind of taken me under his wing a bit more. As I have been applying myself a lot more with all of the new new things that Pete's learning from being a ranger. So like the, the Eltarian tech and things like that. It's kind of transferable knowledge, if that makes sense. Yep. Uh, but yeah, other than that, he has been training a load. And then trying to organize, as, as much as he's not social, um, the team, he, he's starting to think the team don't do enough together. So he's also trying to set up like a weekly night where we all hang out at the command center and just have dinner or something. And yeah, aside from that, I think that's it. Okay. I think. Oh, 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 one more thing. He has been liaising with uh, Lightspeed Rescue, uh, specifically Dr. Fairweather. Um, in regards to what exactly the titanium powers are, like spectrum wires and whatnot, to try and see if he can figure anything more out about that. Now I'm done. Sure. He gets a message like it's the yes, the one day, the one day he tries, the first time he tries to set up a team dinner or whatever so he's like sorry uh gymnastics practice or <laughs> like you know <laughs> it's it's like it's like trying to schedule a ttrpg session it takes forever to find <laughs> who's ever had th yeah. that experience before 
Oh, you mean? <laughs> I, I'd like to say every attempt that we've had to like have our little weekly like sit down thing, something's happened. We've had to go fight monsters, so we have spent time together, but not in the intended way. No yeah. monsters. Oh, no, no monsters at all. A monster attack in two weeks. In Nice. So then I guess at some po at one point it does succeed and we're at least Sophie will be in the Angel Grove for one of those attempts at scheduling. I did remember one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> did P ever get any information back from Kruger and Lightspeed Rescue in regards to um getting information from the signal that the Pink Ranger put out when she teleported to the moon? You wanted a oh yes from last episode. So a, a, a spectrum analysis of the the energy signature. They unfortunately didn't have anything on the satellite capable of tracking the energy signature that the pink former pink ranger gave off when she teleported. Did we pick anything up from the command center at all? Nope. Cool. Um, well. Put a pin in that one and figure out an idea for that in a bit. <laughs> On the dinner thing, Sarah's down and also suggests that we do like a bi-weekly or monthly like full ranger dinner. Both teams. Mm. Pete would agree with this. Yeah, Sophie, Sophie thinks it's a great idea. And then when she finally shows up to, to one, it's just her, Sarah, and Peter. <laughs> No one else comes. That's where we will start at this first dinner. Um, <laughs> Jay, sorry, try that again. Q you? has been drafted into helping with the preparations for rent. Um, the <laughs> list of names. Of or cast members is due to be announced tomorrow. There is not vibrating at all. Nope. nope. Mm. Life. What is it? Art imitating life. Art imitating <laughs> life. Um, <laughs> cow. Hilarious. Nobody knows where cow is. We just don't know where cow is. Yeah. You just don't yeah, know where cow that is. That tracks. <laughs> and he's not answering his call. Yeah, it's like cow. No, nope. that tracks. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like. I'd like to say at least text us to say I'm okay. Sophie's like, I'm not even a little bit surprised. He'll get back to us when he does. He could be at a charity event. He could be with Dana training, putting together the information for Ninja Warrior. He could be at. The studio where Ninja Warriors being filmed, for all you know. He's a very busy individual. Totally not talking to the voices in his heads about how to have fun. No. He's, <laughs> he's not a mental health crisis at all. That's what he's doing. He's off on an adventure trying to find something fun to do. <laughs> what does fun mean? He <laughs> ends up just sit, sitting in a forest on his own somewhere in silence. <laughs> He's meditating over the time. meaning of fun. <laughs> this is me. I'm having fun. Look at me. <laughs> okay, but like, seriously? Okay, I think we're done roasting Cal now. <laughs> um, I wasn't roasting. I was being serious. <laughs> He's kind of <laughs> I think at this point. Um, yeah. Dinner. Um, does I assume this is just invited. one of the regular. Is this just one of the regular like our team, or is this one of the double team dinners? I think this is the first one, so this is just your team. This, this is team. okay. Yeah. So this didn't work, did it? <laughs> no, Sophie, not really. Sophie sits down um, across from Peter. Um. With um, a bowl of pasta, fettuccine Alfredo. Mm -hmm. It's her favorite, and she puts it down in the middle of the table. And she says, "Well, I appreciate the attempt. Um, 
Yeah. There's also some breadsticks and stuff, too. She's trying. He's straight up just taking a fork and just, like, <laughs> taking a bit of pasta. He's not even asked. It's just hum. Um, this I mean, we, we've most... already bled together. Might as well eat together. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> does anybody know where Cal and Q are? I have no idea. I've been Don't... all over the place. I, I think I've seen Cal in a couple of days. Q's uh, got the rent thing to sort out. Yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling about that? You, you nervous at all? No, not at all. Why would I be nervous? I don't know what you're talking about. I check. Uh, uh, they, they, you'll, be, you'll be fine. I'm pretty sure you got it. <laughs> um, I think... I think no, that's I'm... probably like a 10 difficulty alertness insight check. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Oh, wait. I have the edge on that. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled What'd you a get? 9. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you rolled a 9 twice. No, I rolled a nat oh. 1 on my d20, so I had a 2 and a 9. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how many uh, story points do we have? Can I just Three. put another one in there? Oh, yeah. Can I just... Per player, innit? Yeah. yeah. Can I just put another one in? You can. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Wrong um, Sophie you. just looks at Sarah and says, Oh, yeah, you don't look nervous at all. <laughs> that, I mean, I can Great. Because I'm never... definitely not nervous about anything at all. I could You're never right. imagine being a performer like that. I mean, I'm a gymnast. I'm used to performing in a different way. Um, yeah. and, th and then she looks at Sarah and Peter kind of seriously. And she says, well, considering the numbers of this particular dinner, it looks like we're going to be a little... Um, Short staffed around here. Um, how would you guys feel if we did another one of those uh, exchanges with Lightspeed Rescue? Grab a couple of their guys, and um, you know, while I spend some time in Mariner Bay. I mean, yeah, I'd be sad to see you like go over there for a while, but. I have no problem with them got like a couple of them guys come over here for a bit. Yeah, I mean So full disclosure, this isn't just about um us being short in numbers. Um considering all the stuff that's been going on in Mariner Bay, I may have floated the idea to Carter to send uh Dana here so that she wouldn't be forced to fight against her brother, under the guise of us needing an extra pair of hands. All right. So, I just, you know, and y'all seem to have hit it off really well with Dana. I imagine you guys do a really great job of, like, you know, looking out for her. She hasn't had the best time of things. So, um, yeah. And uh, we're best friends and everything, and I know I should be here looking out for her. Um, I just, honestly, I've been so busy with Ranger stuff, and I've been on the go nonstop for weeks. I kind of just want to spend some time at home, maybe catch up with my parents, too, while I'm there, you know? Uh, so... I mean, I'm putting this forward and for very selfish reasons, but I wanted to clear it with you guys, as long as you guys were cool with it. Yeah, fine by me. Yeah, I mean, you know, not to put put it out in the world, but things have been quiet recently, so, uh, you know. So, um, I mean, good. If I we just... really, if, if Pete's going to, like, look over to Sarah and be like, why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, if we do need you, you're, you know, a teleport away. Like, yeah. So. We'll, we'll work it out. I just, there's yeah. a lot of reasons for this. 
I mostly just wanted to... I just wanted to make sure my best friend was okay, you know. Give her yeah, some space well, for all of the... You still need to tell Captain Grumpy Pants about all this, right? Uh, so here's the thing about that. I have, um, convinced both Dana and Carter to <coughs> not reveal our identities and to make sure that the rest of their team don't do it. I told them <coughs> that, um, uh, we still needed to talk about it and make sure everyone was comfortable with it before our identities were revealed. So, you know. There's no pressure there. They said that they would keep it quiet. I mean, for my two cents, I'm fine with it. I already, I, I just kind of assumed it was part and parcel. Once we told Lightspeed, they would, everyone at Lightspeed would be, you know, made aware. So. Yeah, I assumed their main chain of command would know. Yeah. So it's not a problem with me. I mean, I wasn't sure about Cal and. Q and I didn't want to speak for them. So yeah, yeah you may want to have a word with Q about it first. Um, well, that's why. Yeah. That's why I said hold off on it. Sure. And, yeah. You know, I mean, this is we'll not... leave that one to you. Well, I mean, this is not the first thing I've asked Dana to keep from her father. Um... <clears throat> Do tell. <laughs> um, Sounds spicy. Not really, but, um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring those things up. I didn't, you know, want to just make decisions for the whole group because that's not me. That's definitely a Carter thing. <sighs> um, I mean, <laughs> I think... The thing to understand about Carter is that he makes decisions for him. He makes impulsive decisions for him. He doesn't... Uh, outside of kind of the military structure, he doesn't really operate like that. And I find that he's very relatable. We come from the same place about um, helping others and putting others before our own selves. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I mean, yeah, like, sure, he adheres to military structure, but a lot more loosely than people would want him to. He's very, um... Also, he's, like, just about the only one on that team who's not military. Uh, Dana isn't either. Yeah. Uh, so, three you know, out of the yeah. five of them are military, so... Yeah. Well, the fact that the fact that he adheres so loosely to military his military structures is interesting but um yeah no carter doesn't tend to call the shots like that you know definitely more like rushing damn consequences yeah. um yeah actually it's it's you know he struggles with the big picture, I think. Um, Whereas Q focuses on the big picture a little too much sometimes. Um, Maybe we put him in a blender and we get we get one perfect leader. Yeah, but <laughs> Sarah says that Pete's just gonna like laugh and just spit out a load of pasta. <laughs> Yeah, but then we'd have to, like, work out the schedule, like, which team gets the leader which days. It's just messy. And what would we call him? We become one, like, super ranger team, and we just move halfway between Angel Grove and Mariner Bay. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. What would we call him, though? It's definitely not an excuse to spend more time with Kelsey. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I mean, um, if that's a thing, we can always ask for Kelsey to be one of the Rangers that gets sent over. So, you know, that was, that was the other Dana thing. and Kelsey over? Yeah, that's the other thing I was considering. I just haven't actually asked Carter yet uh, to make the arrangements for it. But you want Kelsey over, 
That's rad. I can make that thing. Never say no. Speaking of, how's that going? <laughs> I mean, fine. Have you told her you like her yet? Absolutely not. Why not? That puts it out in the world, and then I have to deal with the consequences. Oh, dude, she clearly likes you too. Like we all know, I'm I'm terrible uh, at social things, but there's a vibe there. There's a vibe. We'll see. I'm but not as are, terrible uh, with social things, and even and I know, I can confirm there's a vibe. See, uh, our ninja warrior preparations are coming along nicely, though. Oh God, I forgot about that. Well, good job. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys might, because we're split into pairs, remember? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, you well, got paired up with Flyboy, right? <laughs> yeah. You like talk to him we at did. all? Yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Frantically messages him on like the communicator. Uh, maybe we should practice this uh, whole ninja warrior thing. It's the is it okay. the other Green Ranger that I'm with? Yeah, yeah. Joel. Oh, okay, I, I'd like to think that he's just as like aloof and like ah, F it, we'll no, wing it. He's a, <laughs> he's all he's the opposite of Peter. He's a wannabe ladies man and is super social. Yep. You get a message back from Joel that just says you haven't already started practicing. What I mean, like I practice every day, not specifically for that, but you know, Ranger martial arts, it's kind of tied into this sort of thing. Should be fine. I sent you the schedule. <laughs> There's a schedule. He's looking over Peter's shoulder. Two hours in the oh, morning. <laughs> Extra protein. Dude, that's crazy. I don't need to do this. smoothie recipe. <laughs> when I see extra protein, I just grab a piece of chicken and just, like, shove it in Peter's mouth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you have to do a 10-mile run. <laughs> he, he, he's just going to message back, like, explicit. <laughs> just F the S to that S. Just no. <laughs> Ten mile run before bed. Are you crazy? I mean, you'll be tired. Exactly. How am I going to do well at Ninja Warrior if I'm tired when I get there? Right. <laughs> Sophie reaches out to um, Carter at this point via like communicator text and says, um, spoke to the team. I think it would be good if you sent uh, Dana and Kelsey over just so we have even numbers and I will see you soon. You get a response from Carter almost immediately. And there's a few spelling mistakes almost as if it's like Fingers too big for the, the keys. But it basically reads, understood, mm -hmm. we'll reassign personnel Very, very immediately. formal. Very formal. Yeah. And then Sophie looks up to Sarah and says, you got your wish. Um, yeah, all right. All You're right. welcome. I mean, thank you. Sure, yeah, great. <laughs> I'm trying... Not to overplay my hand too much here, but all right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let it happen. Whatever happens, just let it happen. People can tell when you're trying too hard. So I'm trying not to try too hard. Why am I just from Jersey all of a sudden? At this point, I'd like I'd like to think that um, Sophie and Sarah both go to like take some pasta out of the bowl. And realize that there's none left because Peter's accidentally eaten it all. Damn it, Peter. 
Oh, crap. Sorry. I, 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 I just kind of started and I was listening to you guys and we were talking. I just got carried away. I'm sorry. This means you need to go in the kitchen and make something else. You know that, right? He'll like walk out into the kitchen, go to the replicator machine and replicate exactly what the, was just on the table and bring it back out again. Do we have a replicator? And, uh, I believe we do. You do not have a you do not have a food replicator. Oh, I thought you said we did before. Yeah. Cow's been cooking everything. Ah, yeah. oh, I, I thought you said we did before because there was something that come up. So but I'm did. sure a replicator was mentioned. But so we have like 3D cook. printers, I think. But I don't think we have food replicators. Yeah, Sophie did cook the pasta, so there's some in the kitchen still left over. She didn't serve the whole thing. You can just. I'll just go get more than. <laughs> and then he'll like put his fork down and like push himself away from the table a little bit so he doesn't accidentally eat anymore <laughs> Sophie's eating and talking and she says you know um, I've been really sorry I'm sorry that um, I haven't really been around for these dinners I know you've been trying to set this up for a while Pete Ah, it's okay. I know everyone's got things on. I just thought, you know, we're constantly fighting monsters together and dealing with bad crap. It might be nice to do something nice together as well. Yeah, you know, it's, it's true. We should actually maybe get to know each other a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, we've been doing this together for a while, but we still don't really know that much about each other. I mean, I know that you're a giant nerd who loves to read about Zords and those journals with me. I mean, and that pretty much is just my whole personality, so that's all you need to know about me. But <laughs> it, it, it may may help everyone as a group to get to know everyone a bit better. Like, obviously, me and Q go way back. Um, so me and him are good, but I don't know. I just thought it'd be nice. I mean... So thank you for coming. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, all of Pete's social ability has gone, um, <laughs> um I don't know. <laughs> he feels like, he, he feels like he has now been put on the spot and he's just kind of like, um, she's. <laughs> yeah, and she's smiling directly at Peter because she knows what she did and she is very amused by it. <laughs> it's just mean. <laughs> I mean, she is curious if Peter does genuinely have any questions about her, because, you know, <laughs> she is she is curious about that. To be fair, Pete doesn't really have any questions about anyone. He's just like, these guys are cool. They help me fight monsters. <laughs> Let's hang out. Simple, simple-minded man. <laughs> um, we do cool stuff together, and we have experiences. You planning on uh, making any moves on Kata while you're in Mana Bay? Dude, oh. she's already started that. Oh, <laughs> come on, guys. I. You don't have to deny it. We saw the way you looked at him when he walked in that first time. Yeah, but I also saw the way Dana was looking at him. It's. I didn't quite pick it up. <gasps> At the start, triangle. I mean, I'm not sure Danny was looking at him, but looking at you. So, I mean, uh. there was a whole thing. You guys kind of missed it, and I. <laughs> the last time I saw Carter, I kind of did, you know, like a wingman, like best friend move. So, I think that's off the table. Uh, hope hoping those two, you know figure their stuff out honestly we're um, not angling for a redeem the bad boy arc here now are we you gonna go for ryan look you saw him he was hot <laughs> i he did. did have some cheek bands did see him, <laughs> yeah. sarah do i detect some judgment in your tone don't judge no. me for that i'm a sucker for a bad boy <laughs> and then I look at Peter and see how he's reacting to this entire conversation with <laughs> exchange with Sarah. 
<laughs> First of all, he definitely agrees. Like, yeah, he had some cheekbones on him. Like, mm. <laughs> like I, I must agree with that. He was a good-looking dude. Uh, um, um, Pete is just kind of like, hmm. Oh, oh, okay then. Okay. Then. <laughs> no, um, no, it- all of a sudden, the girl talk activated <laughs> over <laughs> Peter's head. <laughs> Pete is like slyly thinking to himself, that, "Like I may have something that can help with that." Did, does he say that out loud? No, no, he's thinking that to himself. But oh, just okay, yeah, um, yeah. This is I want to inside Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of see this look on his face, like, huh. Inside him, see if he's jealous. <laughs> yeah. I will say the insight check for Peter will probably be 10. <laughs> Don't roll a 9. Don't be exactly. a disappointment. <laughs> um, hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter. Uh, no, there's no, no jealousy there at all. Um, it's... <laughs> He he has an idea that he is going to try and figure out. I'm, I don't want to give too much away right now. Um, is, he trying, is he trying to wingman Sophie? <laughs> oh not not literally trying to wingman her, but what he plans to do may help her get what she wants in terms of Ryan. Okay. Um, she gets a little serious because she doesn't really check that. She doesn't you know, she looks at Peter, but she's just being really playful, and she's thinking, like, about what Sarah said. Um, can Sophie tell if Sarah was, like, serious about the question? Like, the whole, like, redeeming the bad boy question? Was Sarah seriously asking, or was that, like, just... Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll, g- I'm, I'll give it to you. 50-50. Like, okay. yeah. It's very much the, you know, the joking at the trope, but also, like, Wait, is this what you are, want? Are you really? Um, yeah. um, no, I'm, I'm not about to do anything stupid. I just, I spoke with Carter, and we both decided it would be best if Nina and I did a little, you know, swap teams yeah. for a bit so she doesn't have to fight her brother. Ah, uh, the old switcheroo. Yeah, like one well, medic good. for another, I think it's a fair trade. I mean, you know, we'll find out. Maybe we'll maybe we'll want to make it permanent. Shots fired! Pow pow pow! <laughs> <laughs> that was Pete's response as well, by the way. That wasn't just me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we've covered all of the things you needed to discuss. And she just starts um, eating more pasta. She's like, I have nothing else to say. Dinner. Let us get up this topic quickly. <laughs> just starts eating like an anime protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It's one long piece of pasta and she just... <laughs> A thirty like foot long piece of pasta. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, this this was a fairly successful dinner. Mm. I'd like to say they just spend like the rest of the evening playing like games or some crap. They're in a training room, as like running around on obstacles. Oh. Like we're playing training? giant Jenga. Oh. Okay. And when I say giant Jenga, we're in our Zords and we're playing Jenga <laughs> with like a building sized Jenga tower. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> and it, okay. not only not only is it us playing a game, but it's also us learning to be delicate and more dexterous with our Zords. Yeah. So it's training and playing at the same time. Bosh. Okay. You would be so proud. Play. I know. <laughs> I, I, I could just imagine Alpha sending reports to Zordon. <laughs> the Rangers are um, playing 
Jenga, I think the halflings call it. <laughs> seem to be disassembling a wooden tower and assembling it higher. But making it less structurally yeah, stable with every move. Rangers, yeah. <laughs> Zordon, I do not understand. <clears throat> Zordon just responds back like, Alpha, I believe this is a game the humans refer to as Jenga. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think that's it for for the day. And I think um, what Sophie's been doing a lot is um, splitting her time between staying in the command center in her, you know, private room and staying in the dorm when she's in Angel Grove. Uh, yeah, I'd like I'd like to say at this point, Pete has basically just moved into the command center. The dorm room is just a waypoint to get in and out of uni. <laughs> and when you travel to Angel, no Mariner Bay, Mariner Bay, yep. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. will it be by car or by teleporter? Sophie loves the drive, and um, I think because she's doing official ranger stuff, it's like an official ranger exchange, she's going to go by teleporter this time. But if it's just a regular weekly visit, she would drive. Um, so, no, she's teleporting this time. Kelsey and Dana teleport into... Angel Grove into the command center. Is that before uh, Sophie leaves or after? Before Sophie leaves. Okay. Um, which gives Sophie a moment to speak to her friend. Mm -hmm. Should she so desire? Um, hey, how are, how are you holding up? I know we do the email thing, but I thought I'd just ask. Um, I know things are really difficult right now. Um, I mean, things have been busy. You know, Cow and I were trying to organize the whole Ninja Warrior thing. Yeah. We were meeting with the production team yesterday. How did that go? They seem to be on board. On board. That's amazing. We may actually have sponsors. They, they may actually be running the show. <laughs> I knew Cal would pull through. That's excellent. He just seems to know everybody. Yeah, yeah, that seems to be a thing he does. Yeah. <laughs> well connected he does a lot of charity work so this is kind of Ooh, right yeah. up his alley y'all meet ninja yet not yet but i'm really hoping to before we do the the, the actual competition mm. i really want to see what he looks like beneath the mask mm. that's 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 big ask um, usually when but, people wear masks they don't tend to want to reveal themselves Mm. That's yeah. That's that is true. Anyway, um, but everything else is fine. Mm. Anyway, I hope you don't mind. I've uh, asked for a little bit of backup here in Angel Grove. Um, while I go and spend some time with my parents, I haven't actually seen my mom and dad in. A while, just because things have been busy and they don't know I'm a Power Ranger. <laughs> um, so, um, I hope you don't mind hanging out here for a while. Uh, things have been relatively quiet, but, you know, just in case. Uh, no, um, that's, that should be fine. 
the sides. I think you could use. But just for the record, mm. she did roll a two on her deception check when she said everything was going to be fine. <laughs> a two. Oh yeah. So if you roll the report, I don't think it's physically possible for you to fail. Yeah, no. She knows. I rolled a 14. Like, that's like how many degrees of success? So many degrees of success. She knows. That's like... Seven degrees of success. Uh, six degrees of success? Six. So that, that's gotta be a critical... Oh. Several critical successes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. And she's like... That girl's tired. <laughs> um, yeah, and she just says, you know, we're now a teleport away from each other, and, you know, I just think he could use the break anyway. I'll, um, cover for you while I visit my parents, you know, if an emergency pops up in Mariner Bay. It'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. And uh, these guys will take care yeah. of you. And she um, <laughs> smiles yeah. at um, Sarah and Peter. Pete's head is just like firmly buried in like a computer screen at the moment. He just kind of looks up, waves, and carries on. I suppose that makes me the official liaison. Good job, Peter. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, Carter is I, I waiting trust for you. Okay. It, and I'll, it'll be um, fine. <laughs> I'll um, look at Sarah and I'll say, make sure nothing burns down. Oh. And she smiles. Give it, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> just tapping away, just bird in the air. <laughs> and then she gets ready to teleport. She's got... Um, she is wearing a dark blue jeans and a, um, a light blue um, hoodie and um, her like uh, her backpack that's like um, UCAG colors, you know, like the Power All Ranger colors. colors, literally, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I want to say that before we brought them in, we would have had a discussion because we got to put them somewhere while they're here. This is not just for like an hour. This is for a few days. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that uh, we'll put Kelsey up in my ranger, in my command center room. And But we need to like unlock. I figure we put Dana in your room, but we have to unlock the door so she can be so... <laughs> yeah, I assume, arrangements yeah. to um, yeah. so she can get in and out without teleporting you back constantly. <laughs> I'm, 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 to um, leave my um door open, like connection to the via my connection to Morphin Grid. You can basically ask Alpha to provide her with a temporary key. Uh, which yeah. essentially looks like a coloured gemstone, which, believe it or not, is blue. Oddly. Or not so much. I have that made into a um, necklace pendant <laughs> just as, like, for flavour. It's a friendship. It's a friendship uh, necklace with Dana. It's, like, half a heart, and it's in blue, and it unlocks the door. Why did I just hand Kelsey a rock? <laughs> <laughs> she does like rock climbing. <laughs> so funny. Alright. Let's go. Okay, so I teleport to Mariner Bay. You find... Don't get too much up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you probably heard, don't get in too much. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, Mariner Bay. 
you arrive oh, in Mariner Bay to a section. I teleport. Um, can I determine where I yeah, teleport? Yeah, go for actually? it. I would like to teleport into my childhood, like my old bedroom at uh, my parents' house. Okay. And then I'm gonna just teleport in there, and then I'm going to um, describe this childhood in. bedroom. Give us a window childhood... into childhood Sophie. So, childhood Sophie, um, her bedroom was a um, very light pastel pink um, walls with um, posters of like her gymnastics heroes. And there's a poster of Kim up there as one of her gymnastics heroes. Um, and then um, she has a shelf um, that has uh, gymnastics trophies and medals and things, like a bookshelf. Um, she has a, uh, like a bed that looks like a couch, like a day bed that looks like a couch with a pull-out trundle bed um, that's... Um, her furniture is white. She's got like a simple desk and um, all of the things you'd find in a girl's um, bedroom. Um, so yeah, she um, it's just a very simple um, bedroom and her parents are both well, her mom is a um, nurse and her dad is a uh, doctor he was a, a medic in the military before he just um became a doctor and uh, you know uh started working at uh mariner bay general i don't know what the hospital's name is in mariner bay but um he works there in the emergency department um and his and and her mom is a uh nurse in the um Oh, what do you call it? Like the maternity maternity ward, you know, where the all the babies are and where uh, people give birth. Uh, so that's where her mom works. Um, so she um, hopes that they are at work, and um, I I hope um, I think she would know that if they're working, and that's why she. Um, teleported in that way and then she um uh just checks in with carter she says um this is sophie um just checking in i just got to mariner bay like i do it i i make a call you hear carter respond almost immediately as if he was sort of almost sitting there waiting for your call I, I expected you to teleport into the aqua base we've been expecting you um I just didn't want um you know what uh you know what I'll be right there and um she teleports into the aqua base uh, morphed but with her helmet on or, or her helmet off to present herself to the uh, whoever's waiting for her I suppose it's the team right a second, is, is Captain yep. Mitchell around a definitely not Captain after you teleport out of your childhood bedroom Sophie's door opens with a creak and her very tired looking mother stands there for a moment. She sort of looks around and frowns and I could have swore I heard the floorboards. <sighs> Those doubles are killing me. Um <laughs> yeah. and she pulls the door closed and heads back to catch a few hours sleep before heading off to her next shift. But 
in the I don't have any po- I don't have any points in infiltration which is the hilarious part in the do I? aqua base I do not in a section of the uh, sort of hangar where all the vehicles are there is a roped off area where alpha knows to teleport people to and from just to make sure there's no unfortunate incidents um <laughs> okay some of the light speed techs aren't a hundred percent sure on what might happen if people were teleported into the same location and despite alpha's attempts to make sure that everything was okay they just rather take precautions but waiting for her there is Carter and Captain Mitchell. Um, she looks at um, Captain Mitchell and she says, Captain, this has been uh, long overdue. Well, she should have done this coming and went, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she remembers her moment when she when she gets there, and it's this whole dramatic moment. Say that again for me. Um, Captain, it's been long overdue. Did you say she is taking her helmet off? Yeah, as after, like she she teleports in. Yep. And then when she tell she materializes, she takes her helmet off and she says, Captain, this has been long overdue. You You've never seen him speechless. You've seen him quiet. <clears throat> you've seen him contemplative. You know, just not talking. You've never seen him struck speechless before now. Um, she looks at him and says, um, the rest of my team are, uh, free to reveal their own identities on their own time, uh, but I've made my decision for myself today, um, so I just ask that you respect that. And then she nods. Is this is this is some sort of joke? This is. Uh, no. Uh, this is my reality yeah. now. How? How did this happen? Alien Tech is the um, short version. How did you both become Power Rangers? Magic. Coincidence more than anything. It wasn't like I was trained or anything. (laughs) He glances over to his right where Carter is standing there you knew you don't look at all surprised and you didn't say anything she told me not to she asked me not to I asked I asked I asked him not to mostly to try and give mostly to give me time to speak to my team about revealing their identities we um i i didn't want to make the choice for them who else knows does your mother know your father uh no they do not i you know as well as I do that this line of work is dangerous and I don't want to get them involved in any of it. You really can't um, expect me to keep this from your father. Uh, 
best I can do is ask. You are putting me in a very uncomfortable position. I was in an uncomfortable position for weeks following some antiquated code um, before we sorted out, uh, you know, talking about our identities. Um, I mean, it's one thing if I had been selected by Lightspeed, but this is a little more alien technology and uh, magical power coin. And I don't know how well that's going to go with my parents, especially my father. Uh, it's not going to go down well. Yeah. You were on the short list for light speed. But I don't have a military background. I I neither does he. That's we true. choose people based on their ability to respond to incidents and the support they can provide. I don't know how well that I don't know how well Lightspeed would have gone with my father, honestly. That um, was the decision. And then she kind of realizes the whole weight of that. And she's like, oh. Exactly. And you've still become a Power Ranger. I mean, really by accident. You would be really proud I how I responded to this incident. Um, anyway, I guess that's not the point. Um, I guess if it was faded that the Morphin Grid chose me, I mean, I suppose it just finds its way no matter what. Captain Mitchell opens his mouth. You can see his brow furrowing. He looks... Roll me an alertness check. Difficulty 12. Perception? Insight? Is it an alertness insight? Alertness insight, no. yep. Oh boy. <coughs> Here we go. Oh. Your camera went off. Your camera oh, did go I... off. It's okay. Sorry. No, it's good. It's for a second, for uh, Green no, Ranger I Master accidentally, became Anne. I accidentally <laughs> hit it uh, with my mouse. Um, that's 19. He looks look. proud. He does look proud of you and of what's happened and how you've responded to it. He looks upset because he's seen how this has how this has impacted the lightspeed rangers and your dad is one of his friends and he's yeah. now going to have to keep this from him and this could possibly ruin their friendship yeah and at his age you don't make friends very easily yeah. Um. Especially Sophie working in looks... government. <laughs> yeah. I know. I. I had plans, but. You know, ever you know, since everything. the uh, Morphin Grid chose me, I've had to reassess the direction of my life but um we're here now so 
I'm going to have to figure out what to do next in terms of my family. But <clears throat> that's for me to figure out. He's... I hope you don't mind. Mouth mm -hmm. snaps shut audibly. He steps forwards, still looking quite stern, but puts his arms around Sophie in a hug. Mm -hmm. And just as he uh, does, the alarm goes off. Explosions. <laughs> And that's she was we'll gonna say, break. yeah, she was in the middle of saying, "I hope you don't mind," and then the alarms go off. Yep. And that is where we're going to take a break. Uh, we will be back in roughly ten minutes. Um, uh... <laughs>
Hello, we are back. Um, we're just going to check on Angel Grove. Sunfire. Everything, no, there's no fire. It's all good. Um, <laughs> everything's fine. I have faith. It's it's Peter and a bunch of girls. <laughs> <laughs> This is both... Peter has never felt more awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah. Um, just, so we're, we're giving Peter a Sophie, makeover. <laughs> Sophie planned it this way intentionally <laughs> to make Peter feel awkward. Putting putting highlights in his hair, you know, giving him a pedicure and a manicure, some green streaks. <laughs> <laughs> just green highlights in his hair. Uh, he's got one of. Um, uh, you know the little jelly things that you put under your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> He's got yeah. some of them on. Um, I mean, well, I haven't ever used them. He's pretending he life. doesn't know the name. <laughs> I don't actually know the name of them. I just know. Well, me and my friend used to just call them eye squeegees. Um, <laughs> so it's a spa day in the command center. Yeah. <laughs> until, until Pete realizes he's got shit to do. <laughs> I'm down. I was kidding. And I'm <laughs> then cartoonishly just gets up, and you know, like in, in like proper cartoons where like someone will move, but like their clothes will stay where they were. Like that happens, but all of like the the spa treatment stuff that they've put on him stays there as he shoots away. <laughs> Teleport out of the makeup. <laughs> so, what is Pete doing? What is Peter doing? Pete is going to try and venture into a joined operation, um, enlisting the help of Alpha, Dr. Fairweather, and Commander Kruger if he's available. And Pete is first going to try and speak to Alpha regarding building some sort of device that could disrupt the Titanium Ranger um, from being morphed. Um, after the research he's done um, on the connection to the morphing grid, the morphers, and then also the information he got from Dr. Fairweather um, regarding the light speed ranger power set as well. Um, yeah. With those helping me, do I get any upshifts at all? So first of all, I would like you to tell me exactly what it is you want to make. So right now, I want to attempt to build some sort of, using the components from the light speed morphers that Pete um, requested um, when the titanium morpher was stolen, yep. um, some sort of device, uh, basically another temporary morpher um, that connects to the morphing grid using specifically the titanium spectrum set. Okay. That's what I want to try and make right now. I will say you can do this with two upshifts. Yep. So uh, you know, I'll give you three ten. upshifts. I will give you three upshifts. And what is my difficulty? The difficulty is this is going to be a theoretical piece of equipment this is going mm -hmm. to be a difficulty 30 yeah. this is nearly yeah. impossible yeah. uh yeah no considering i rolled a 12 that is <laughs> very much nearly impossible um cool i did not get that 12 total yes Ouch. Yep. I got a six on my skill dice. Uh, a nine on my skill dice, even. And, yeah, a four on the d20. A, a three on the d20. Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I shifted them, and then I couldn't do quick maths. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so, failing that, um, he is going to go into research mode and look into some other avenues for now. Okay. And Sarah? 
You have uh, Dana and Kelsey. Yeah. Do I also have class? We're going to say no. Work? Okay. So it's Thursday. We're going to say no. It's that lovely Thursday. We just never have college, okay, guys? <laughs> just really assume it's always a Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Everything yeah, happens is. on Thursday. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you wait. You wait. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, got your rooms. If you want to drop your stuff off, if you got any stuff to drop off. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't really have anything planned for today. We can go to the hollow chamber. We can go to the juice bar. I mean, what are y'all feeling? Well, we should keep practicing for our Ninja Warrior Championship win. Kelsey says. Yeah, but if we practice with Dana, she'll know what we're doing. Maybe she can help Peter with something. Keep him out of trouble. <laughs> I see you picked up. I, I'd, I, I, I'd, I'd like to say Peter is well out of trouble at the moment. He is focused on a, on a goal for the first time anyone has ever seen. I just have <laughs> I just had like this amazing idea. Uh oh. Speaking oh. of, what does Dana, what does Dana um her expertise um again is she also like medical biology sort medical. of thing? Yep. Then if they're all in the same room, Pete is going to pull up and be like, "I I could maybe borrow Dana for something." Um, I'm Dana. <laughs> yep, I could, I could I could I could use your assistance possibly maybe. Or, if you are don't you mind. sure about that? Are you sure you're Dana? Because, uh, you know, uh -huh. you didn't sound too sure. I'm scared. There's oh, no well, we'll be fine. No so lasers, I promise. I, I, no lasers. Okay. Just experimental grid technology. It's fine. Somebody check on me? Just. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check on you in a couple hours. Yeah. Hours? You'll be fine. Don't worry. Come on. Okay. Um. Do you do do you, do you know much about much about the titanium know. morpher you guys were building? I didn't even know there was a titanium morpher. Okay, you might not be able to help me then. Damn it, Peter! I'm a scientist, not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's <laughs> just gonna look at her and be like, oh. <laughs> She's like, I got that reference. Well, I mean, if nothing else, she's an extra pair of hands for you because I can try. Kelsey and I have secrets for this ninja garbage that we can't reveal. Oh, right, I get you. Uh, cool, yeah, uh, yeah, I can, I, I, can, I can still probably use another pair of hands. Yeah. Nobody can know how badass we are until we show them. Go ahead and make, make another check with Edge and those upshifts. And me? Can, yeah, you can spend a uh, story you knew where point. I was going to spend. You can spend a story point to make a skill check as if you were had specialization. Just saying. Well, I'm going to ask if I can very much do that because that means I get to roll all of my dice. <laughs> Which makes me happy. Do it. It's a lot of dice. It's not fair. Right. You can only now he's got to do a lot of maths. <laughs> Congratulations. You only take the highest though, remember. Yeah, I know. I got a 15 on my D20, and then I critted on my D10. So that's nice. a 24. But I did, but, but I got an 11 on my D12. So 26, so it's still not a 30. 
was the 15th well, the highest of the two D20s. Yeah, the other one was a two. Oof. Indeed. I created on like three dice though, which is nice. <laughs> The six, the eight, and the ten. I think that I should mean, count for something. <laughs> you can only technically crit if you succeed, yeah. if you make the difficulty. Yep. Yeah, I know. But you see where I was going with that then, Matt, yeah? I did see where you was going with that. In source material, the morphers have a biological component to them with the titanium light speed morpher. Apologies, everybody. I may have just hit my microphone so sorry about that um sarah is training with kelsey pete is going to like communicate a text to her like good luck on your date and <laughs> smiley face smiley face Flap emoji How is her training He's... going? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. You want athletics or acrobatics or both? <laughs> Either or. <laughs> From your mm -hmm. highest. They're both D2. <laughs> yeah. Not well. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it's okay. Kelsey's showing off for you. Um, because apparently yeah, that's she the got failure. 19 in her D20. Um, <laughs> as she performs a stunning series of jumps and pirouettes and somersaults and dives across the uh, simulated ninja uh, run that you guys have set up. Meanwhile, she... I immediately fell with the holographic water. Yeah. She does sort of stop <laughs> as she realizes halfway across. She's like, oh, um... Uh... <laughs> Just going to jump on the first obstacle and straight in the water. Well, then. All right. Do you really need to work on that if we're going to win? Like... I know. I know. <laughs> We can't. All right, all right. I have bet cleaning duty on this for a month. Why would you? See, now there's pressure. Do you not. Like, diamonds. Diamonds are made under pressure. All right, all right. That's, that's fair. Let's try this again. If anybody else has under pressure in their head right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were you reading my lips, Matthew, while I was Did muted? Did you have it? I, I thought I could see it, but it was bouncing in my head. So. Oh my god! <laughs> no, but I was, I was, I was singing it while I muted. I could so see I was you, wondering yeah. if you saw my lips. <laughs> okay, you made it two steps this time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you landed on the first obstacle, but then missed the second one. Kelsey ha like gives you a hand and helps pull you up out of the water and turns to you and just says, I I really hope you don't have any plans because we are going to keep doing this until you make it the entire way. If we need to be up all night, just over and over again, we will. There's a multitude of expressions on Sarah's face. <laughs> Was one right. of them panic? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. The I'm on. two What's light on? speed Switch morphers it. sound an alarm at the monsters that have appeared, the demons that have appeared in Mariner Bay. And both Peter and Sarah see Dana and Kelsey glance at their morphers in alarm and then just sort of it'll be okay and 
I mean, if they if they need you, they'll call. Yep, it it'll be fine. Come on, once more. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Was that the um call that they were ignoring, or was it just a just the signal? alarm to suggest okay. that something bad had happened? Not a, nobody had called them, but just like you know, you get that doo -doo, when there's a hey. By the way, yeah. yeah. Early warning system. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, apparently, um, not wanting to spend the entire day, afternoon, and evening running the course with Kelsey, Sarah does manage to make it across the first of the um, obstacles. I mean, barely. She <laughs> does. She looked like a spider on a hot plate while she did it, but she did it. <laughs> and back in Mariner Bay, Carter glances over at Sophie, looks behind him at the other Lightspeed Rescue Rangers, and well, uh, sorry, Captain Mitchell, but unfortunately, I think your heart to heart is going to have to be put on hold. Step back, and she says, I understand what you're saying, and I'll figure it out. Just give me some time. And then she puts her helmet back on. She's like, you know, back to action. And she puts her helmet back on and she's fully morphed. Thankfully, with the technology that's been shared, you are no, or the Lightspeed Rangers are no longer stuck having to drive that lovely yellow. Oh, the Jeep. Yeah. Uh, the Oh, yeah. Four wheeler. Um, yeah. And are in fact able to teleport to the site of the fight where they find themselves face to face with what appears to be some sort of demon, but also a small army of the battlings that the Lightspeed Rangers have been fighting since day one. These almost completely black individuals with small imp-like wings upon their back, great big red eyes on their face that are just causing havoc, chasing people through the streets, terrorizing people they don't seem to be trying to destroy anything just causing as much panic as possible I'm going to look to Carter to see what he, he wants to do like um, I'm just going to fall back and like you know be part of the team I guess also, does that mean, am I allowed to uh, use the Red Ranger follow me ability, which I'm sure that he has? I'm going to say it comes yes. To initiative? I mean, if I am authentically just following him, even if he's not. Yeah, we're going to say yes. Because right? um, I assume I the next yes. words. It's an interesting the question. Next I assume that the next words coming out of your mouth is roll for initiative. Cause the I'm next like... words coming out of my mouth are indeed going to be uh, <laughs> roll for initiative. He is going to uh, roll Carter, for initiative. Just bear with me a moment. Carter can get plus one from me if that applies. Get plus three. Wait. The, he's... Oh, right. Yeah, okay. I was like, wait, uh, break. Really? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
which is awesome because Carter has got an awful initiative. So <laughs> Carter's initiative is going to be an eight. Um, With the plus three? Yeah, because he rolled a five. Oh, that's brutal. I rolled a one on my d4, so I'm at a seven. The... The battlings continue to separate. They're in. There is a huge group of them. You can't count them all because of the way they're sort of jostling about, running around. Their uniform colour makes it difficult to separate individuals. But you would guess easily a hundred more parties than you've ever fought in one go and as they run as they chase people they seem to be separating into smaller and smaller groups herding people away chasing them down side streets and carter decides really quickly rangers we have to deal with those first I'll fight whatever this is, trying to keep it distracted, but deal with the battlings. Um, just try and stop them from hurting any civilians. What you is Sophie going to do? Actions, correct? Say again, sorry. You cut out. At speed... At speed six, I have four free actions, yep. correct? Uh, how far away is the gigantic group of battlings? The battlings, the gigantic group, the biggest group is 25 foot away. Uh, sweet. I am going to... Um... I'm going to uh, free action summon my uh, bladed power bow. I'm going to free action aim. I'm going to take the downshift for multiple targets. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to shoot. Okay. So you. It's two targets you can shoot at, isn't it? Off the top of my head. Yeah. So you can make an yeah. aim for each of them. An aim for each okay. of them. I need an attack roll for each of them. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll you aim. you can make an aim for each. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so... And it will be a 14 to hit. Okay. Oh, God damn it. It's a three, not a two. I can't re-roll that. Okay. So that's one target's miss. Wait, do I have edge on that? No, right? I do not? No. Okay. Uh, that is a ten for my second shot. Uh, so... Um... And then I will use my last free action to defend. You see Chad and Joel follow suit. They um, summon their uh, rescue blasters and just start firing into the great big swarm of battlings. Carter goes charging into the fight he summons his v lancer and starts sort of almost dueling this demon who if anything seems to be toying with him backing up using its own blade to parry its uh, carter's blows Always staying just out of reach. The battlings continue to swarm down the side roads, the 
uh, alleyways and you just hear more and more people screaming as they're pushed further and further um, off of the main roads. What would you like to do? I keep trying to chip away at the um, uh, the batlings. Go for and it. I'm going to do another multiple target attack. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, nice. Okay. Uh, those are two 15s that hit two different... Fantastic. Yeah. Your arrows strike true, and two of the battlings, one of which seem to be grabbing hold of somebody at the time, are just knocked flying, and as they strike the ground, they um, explode and disappear from sight. Um, and then I'm just going to free action, defend again in case something comes at me and they get closer. Something gets close to me. <clears throat> Chad and Joel run off chasing the smaller groups. One goes one way, the other goes the other. Just essentially trying to stop them from getting too far away. You can see them firing at the battlings, but there are, there are too many of them. They they easily outnumber all of you. And Carter seems too focused on his own fight to see the bigger picture. Sophie is going to look over at where Carter is. How far away is Carter uh, from where Sophie Carter's is? A... Carter's about 40 foot. Um, she's going to try to reach him through the communication line that uh, the Thunder Ranger shared with Lightspeed. And he says... And, and she says... Carter, we can't handle all of the battlings. We need to retreat. We need to get back up. And she tries to, like, get him to um, look at the bigger picture. We need to pull back. I'm a little busy here. We need to pull back. And then I'll try to, uh, sh you know, uh, whittle down the battlings again with my... Um, my multiple multiple targets attack. I'm gonna aim. Go for it. Come on. Oh, nice! It's a 15 with a crit on the first one. Uh, I'm gonna roll that, re-roll that one because aptitude augmenters. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Didn't help. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> um... And the second shot is a four total. And I imagine that because she's trying to get Carter's attention, uh, the second shot misses. Roll me a persuasion check as well. Um, what's the difficulty? The difficulty, bear with me a second. Uh, the difficulty is going to be 16. Oh, come on. No, I only rolled it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I only rolled a 12. Okay. He doesn't turn away from you, but your shots do take down another two battlings. Uh -huh. And you can hear um, Chad and Joel fighting down the alleyways. You can hear their uh, their own blaster fire. 
and what appears to be Joel taking a blow from one of the battings. And as that happens, one of them comes swooping in. Oh, I free action defend too, and... by the way. Yep. I figured. I just need to... Oh, is a battling coming yeah. to fight me? Come on, let's go! Yep. <laughs> I'm fairly certain it is going to miss, however. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a 17. Uh, is that with a snag? Because I defend it. Uh, it's... Oh, it's got snag is defend. Yeah, sorry. But, uh, it is going to be but, a 15. But my, um, my, like, my, can I kind of just try to, whoof, with my evasion and avoid yeah. the blow? Because that is an 18 and it will not hit. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, it's like that, huh? Snap. <laughs> like, I kind of, as a show off you reaction, just. Her bow splits and her daggers, and she's like, okay. Roll me an alertness insight check. Difficulty 10. Uh, 20. Carter is fixated on fighting this thing himself, as if if he defeats it. Is this the... Is this the one... Is this it's the going demon? to solve his problems. Is this the demon that um, Dana was talking about in his file, or a different one? Nope. He, they've taken that down. Okay. I get that it. That was the first thing they fought as the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers. Okay. I, I, I think I get it. Um... Okay, so... Um... She's got a battling in her face, right? Just one or multiples? Just okay. one. Okay. Is it her turn again to act? I think I Most just Most of them are chasing after normal people. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to try to hit hit this guy. I'm going to try to hit this battling. Do I have a... Hold on. Let me see how multiple targets work for my melee mode. Hold on. Um... Yeah. Can I aim on melee attacks or just ranged? You cannot. Okay. It's just ranged attacks. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for it. Um. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh. So, Sophie. Um. Sophie swings. Uh, with her daggers, kind of like double slashing strike. I rolled a six on the first attack and an eighteen on the second attack. The first one makes it back upwards as it tries to avoid the attack. The second one catches it across the chest. Sparks fly off, and as it bounces out of the way, it explodes. Um, purple fire that just burns it away into nothing. I'm going to attempt to try to convince Carter to pull back and call for backup again. Okay. I'm going to attempt another persuasion check if that's okay. Yeah. Seriously? Oh, and the target's still a 16, correct? It is indeed. I uh, rolled a 10. It's like, Carter, we need to get more help. Come on. And she I can't just leave this thing to just do whatever it's going to do. And she, she just says, no, this isn't the way to do it. We got to get the rest of your team. And um, yeah. I'm I'm just gonna keep trying to fight and then my my free action defend. Actually it and then I'm gonna take a five foot shuffle towards uh 
in the direction Carter is, but not, you know, I still want to stay within 30 feet of battling range, but also five feet and then defend. As you are shooting at the battlings, as they, the ones you're taking down, the rest of the group are further separating into smaller and smaller pockets, running further away, chasing. There are only six battlings within sight, and Carter battling the demon. The others have fled into the city. And you can hear screaming. And maybe a dog barking. Um, I think what's going to happen is... Um, so, so the, uh, Joel, Joel and Chad are out of sight, correct? Yep. I can't see them anymore. I don't have a visual on them anymore. Nope. You can communicate with them or Kelsa, Kelsey, Dana, Sarah, Peter, Captain Mitchell. Um, she feels like it's not her place because she is blue. She is this. She has. She wears the second in command color, but she's not Chad. But she is gonna call and she's gonna say, Captain Mitchell, we need backup here. The battlings have split, and Carter is hyper focusing on this demon. You don't hear Captain Mi Captain Mitchell in response. <coughs> you hear Kruger. It's worse than you think. How the boy is back. Worse. What? This is a distraction. He's back. Within the city. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Can I attempt to persuade Carter? But this time, can I use a story point to roll with specialization? You can indeed. Um. Okay. Oh yeah! Nailed it. Finally. Okay. I rolled a sixteen, and I'm okay. gonna say, Carter, you've left me no choice. I'm pulling rank. Um, we need to get out of here. He's back, and this is just a distraction. Snap out of it, dude. Carter takes a step back. He uses his... Oh, sorry. He uses his lance, his V-lancer, to try and keep it in between himself and the demon. But turns his head to try and glance over at Sophie. He's back. I am wearing blue. He he understands. He understands the rank, right? Yeah. And like when she says I'm pulling rank. Uh she's never done that before. Uh, yeah, he's back. We need to go. This is just a distraction, Carter. Call your um, team. We'll get Dana. Uh, we'll get Kelsey. We'll deal with the battlings. Get your team, deal with Ryan. Wait, you're sending you're sending my team to deal with Ryan? Okay. If you think that's best. I'm gonna have the I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Peter. I'm gonna go, hey, Pete. Yo, what's up? Uh trouble, that's what's up. Teleport your ass over the Mariner Bay. Bring Sarah with you. Okay, what's the beef? Uh he's back. Oh, uh, damn, I'm not ready for this yet. Um, um, uh, okay, okay, we'll be right there. And then he'll notify the rest of the team. Um, but Pete will stay behind for now. Great. If that is okay. <laughs> no, 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 
no, if Speed, if P, does Pete tell, does, does Pete tell Sophie this or he just decides not to show up? Because that, it, it could be dramatic. Um, Sophie doesn't know what he's doing. Can I uh, just, yeah, he'll explain. Can yep, I just go ahead. pop my GM hat on and interject? If you're trying to do your tech thing, even if you succeed at the roll, it's going to take you time to build what you're trying to build. It will not be ready for this scene. Okay, fair play. Cool. Oh, here we go. There um, will be a dice roll ask... to determine how long it takes. But we're talking days. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, Pete will ask Alpha to continue researching on what they're currently working on. Mm -hmm. While he is away. And then off we go it's morphing time and all that jazz yeah uh so i assume that uh the light speed rangers are dealing with a the different things. threat right and yep. we're running around the city gonna... causing panic yeah okay oh, and sophie... so sophie while waiting for her team to like gets herself teleported to where he is ahead of everyone showing up so then when they teleport, they know where to teleport. Like, yeah. basically they'll Very know much. to teleport where Sophie is. Aim for you. <laughs> yeah, we aim for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sophie, teleport me to Sophie. Sophie arrives in the museum first. The, uh, the history museum, where there is a display of ancient artifacts found in Mariner Bay. Ryan, full civilian garb, as it were, uh, loose, a uh, t shirt, and a cloak bundled across his it, back and shoulders, is just wandering is through it, the museum looking for is something. It the is it the black shirt that he wears in Lightspeed yep. Rescue? Like the standard Ryan look? Yep. Okay. The standard Ryan does he look. Seem, does, he, does he see me? Teleport Are in? you trying to hide? I mean, I am... Uh, um, I mean, I'm not trying to make myself be like, here, but I'm also like... I mean, I guess I'm going to try to be... See how noticed I am. Infiltration, correct? Uh, he got a 20 with a critical oh, balls. four. <laughs> I, rolled, I, rolled, I rolled a 7 on my infiltration. He knows he saw you. you're the... <laughs> he, uh, uh, Sophie um, reattaches her daggers to form the bow that she was holding oh um for the purposes of uh the defend action does teleportation count as movement teleportation does count as movement oh Wait, no well, right How rephrase <laughs> teleportation is in a funny place where if you use teleportation to move it would count as movement teleporting like you've just done, I will say no. You can use your free action to defend. Um, how far away is Ryan from me? From where I can see, Ryan from you is about forty-five foot. Um, I'm gonna use the defend action, but then I'm gonna take like a five foot of movement, like towards him. I'm gonna say. I don't know what you're after here, but it stops today. And then pray that my friends get here soon. Because you're going to stop me. And as he finishes saying that, in true dramatic fashion, green and black teleportation lights just <coughs> strike the ground just behind Sophie. Also, as he lands. I would have brought the other two as well. 
Kelsey and... They would have been called... Sorry, go on. Or unless they got called... They would have been called by Carter, correct? Yeah, to do okay. with the battlings. Intentionally to keep Dana away from her brother. Okay. Uh, as we all obviously teleport in and land, I'd want to say that you guys just hear Pete go, superhero landing. And you're like, lands in, obviously, the classic superhero landing pose. Uh, in this guy again. To Ryan, Sophie says, I'm not going to stop you, but we are. As, <laughs> as they land and teleport in, like, perfect timing, as if she had planned it the entire time. Just see us, like, starting to stretch, right? Uh. Ryan turns towards you, and you notice clutched in his hand where you couldn't see it before because of the cloak is an axe featuring the symbol of the Lightspeed Rescue Organization in the other hand is the morpher he took are you sure you want to do this? Am I sure I want to kick your ass? Hmm. I don't remember it going very well yeah. for you last time. <laughs> I'd like to say that when she says that, Pete looks over to her, like, and they just both look at each other, and just as they say, yep, they just, like, high-five, like, yep, <laughs> and, like, we're ready to go. Everybody do we, roll, do we roll an initiative, initiative for me. I don't that have... And... A rank and initiative, and I feel bad. Okay. You will I rolled a nine. Maybe feel more bad in a moment. Average. <laughs> now I, I probably feel extra. I got a fourteen. This is this is what I signed up for. Make me feel bad. <laughs> Let's go, Matthew. It can be worse than there critting on me last time, almost so murdering my no, my character. No butt edge. Let's go. Uh, Ryan got a nineteen. Oh, I feel really bad. Okay, let's go. Make it hurt, Matthew. Mm. <laughs> oh, what does he have in an, in initiative, dude? Ryan an edge. has edge. He has a deep in initiative. Yeah. Why does Ryan have edge in initiative? Um, because he's a jerk. Would Would you really like to know why Ryan has edge in initiative? Would I like to peel back the screen? Maybe later. I mean, uh, yes, I'd like to know. <laughs> um, can you put an initiative tracker? I'm thingy literally for me? just doing that. Sorry, I was no, going to just good. edit it in myself. I'm literally just doing. Can you? Genuine mechanical question. Is he just built as a threat rather than a spectrum? Or is he built under the premise of a spectrum? He's built, the answer he's built is under yes. a white spectrum, I bet. The answer is a bit, yes. of, of, a bit of both then, yeah. Obviously that axe is his grid weapon. What Come was on, Sophie's go. initiative, sorry? Nine. 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 Oh hey, look. It's okay, right, yeah, cool. I think I see um, what you did then. then. Ryan Nine. holds the morpher up and just says titanium power. As he's and doing this, can I actively suit, be scanning him? <laughs> his suit just appears from the morpher, washing over himself, forming the armor across his body. You can make me a technology roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the technology will be... Eighteen. Just your technology check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twenty-one. Nailed you it. can scan him. I will say... Excellent. You can have... A, we will reduce the 
difficulty on your next check to make your cunning plan work. Excellent. Because Can I like instantly be sending the data to Alpha for him to start running diagnostics? Uh, we'll go with yes. Because awesome. that takes his standard action, Ryan cannot do much else, unfortunately. But he does duck down behind cover using some of the artifacts around him to protect himself from Sophie's bow and any other ranged weapons that may be pointed in his direction. <sighs> ah, do I get to hit things now? Uh, it is Peter's turn. He is <coughs> 40 or 50 foot away from you, though. That's cool. I can use my full movement, 30 foot, then use my four free actions to bloop bloop, get next to him, and I'm just going to hit this man really hard. Okay. Do 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 do. And I missed. I got a nine. <laughs> uh, that will is bring that us... including your solo strike stuff, or is that a different thing? No, that was with my solo strike. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Sorry. No, it wasn't. I didn't roll with specialization. Sorry. Sorry. Do rolled... excuse me. Hang on a second. You used all four of your free actions. You didn't have an action. Oh, I can't summon my power weapon, can I? Cool, cool, cool. All right, I punched him in the vest. You tried. I had hurt my fist in the process. No, he I hit him. I just had my fist in the process. No, he ducks out of the way using his evasion. Oh, okay. Can I, I hit the wall behind him then and still? No. Yep. Uh, Sarah. 50 feet away? 50 foot away. I need to... So, 30. I'll get within, I only need to get within 15 feet. So that's, yeah. So my 30, 30 foot move, one free action for the extra five. One free action to summon my Eskrima stick. Mm -hmm. And... Two's ten. Down one. It's down one for willpower. Right? You know what? I need to double check that because this will be the first time. I've done it, yeah. Bear with me <laughs> one moment. I think I need, I need to actually put the proper stats for this uh, it's stick a in of my character two to target point. willpower defense. Okay, negating sharpshooter. That's yes, right. Okay, yeah. So, but yeah, I will target willpower mm -hmm. with and I will scream at the boy. What is my target number? Uh, your target number is. Fourteen. Fourteen. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I am kind of glad I didn't completely dump his... Um... his... I would have had a double crit, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I tend to keep them fairly within a couple of points. Um... Yep. That's hilarious. Yeah. Kind of. Um. um well. Have to be a one. My re rolls have to be a one. God. Damn. Wait, your re rolls have to be a one? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I can re roll on ones and twos. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, that sucks. I can do this. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Sophie's sometimes. Done. Sometimes I'm just a sh little. Jerk. Um, 
Now, how far away is he? Is he still 50 feet From you, away? he's 45 foot because you were five Yeah, foot because closer. I shoved. I am going to uh, wait through. Hmm. I don't need to take that downshift. Um. Oh, no. Uh, so I roll on a snag from the second range. Yes. So if I'm... I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna move the 15 feet. Um... No, wait. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna attempt to shoot Ryan once with my bow. Okay. As a as a an action. Wait a minute, thirty. Hold on. Thirty actually. Thirty um thirty um sorry, I know how to do math. Um, I'm going to use three free actions to get myself all the way up in his face. Mm -hmm. So it's 45, correct? Wait, yeah. how much is my movement? 15 is it 30 or 35? Plus 30 is 45. Yeah. Um, I'm essentially going to close the distance on him. Uh, oh, my movement is 35. Okay. Uh, I lied. I only need two free actions for that. Um <laughs> And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit him with the um, dagger mode. I'm just gonna say, let's jump this man. I'm just gonna say, listen, Ryan, you don't have to do this. You I am going to use one of my story there. points to increase his defense by five. Do you have to specify which defense you're increasing? Uh, I'm going to increase his evasion by pl five to make his evasion twenty-three. My, can my dagger? <coughs> oh Jesus Christ! Okay, I guess it's I'm gonna. Money, unless you target, unless yeah, you target. and um, <laughs> she's just gonna say, Ryan, you don't have to do this. You have a family that's waiting for you, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to <laughs> and attack him <laughs> with a fourteen. He ducks out of the way, and as he does, his axe comes up and pushes your blade to the side. Yeah. Could I attempt to, uh, uh, like, do the thing that Captain Mitchell did on the TV show where he was just basically trying to talk him down, but can I do it with pers persuasion? <laughs> can, I, can I do a persuasion thing while I'm fighting him off? Uh, you can, but I will say because of your lack of familiarity, at the moment at least, I will say you will do so with a downshift. He doesn't cool. know I you. I can handle that. I don't know him either. It's no. fine. Let's go. At least you what's, know of What's him. the target number? Uh, the target <laughs> number is going to be... 20. 7,000. It's his cleverness, isn't it? Gotta hate okay, it. Target number is going I have to, to do be... It. I have to do it in character. 17. This is what my character... Ha <coughs> <laughs> ha, that's seven. awkward. I rolled a seven. Close. You got one of the numbers. Just me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep trying, though. This is kind of my approach to it. I'm not swinging to... Like, I'm just trying to kind of... I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, can I take... Can I take my, I one, take my last free action? No, wait. I I have a couple of free actions. I take one free action to move back five feet so that Peter can solo strike. Because <laughs> you're adjacent, you'd need to move ten feet to move okay, I feet. have two. I have two. I have two free actions left. <laughs> How many did you aim or do anything? Jenny I used, used two, two in a movement. Five. And you needed to use two, forty-five. So you'd have two. Yeah, two you have two left. Two. Yeah, so you can. Yeah, so I yep. just want to give Peter enough space to solo strike. Okay. Donka. And it says, 
Although it looks like he's probably going to hit me really hard right now. <laughs> he says, <Somebody>. bye! <laughs> uh, so if he does go to swing at me, I'm fully going to ask if I can use a story point to boost my toughness by 15. Well, you only suggest that you do so. Bend it for you. Two. We have two story points left. As he deflects the blow from the dagger, he brings his hand around. You see the axe spin in his hands and it changes form into what appears to be some sort of blaster. He levels it in Sophie's direction, brings it up and fires uh, with a snag because he's right there, right? Yeah, isn't there a distraction bonus <laughs> or distraction? He has got a snag, but he has still gonna take the shot. Oh. Yeah, he mad, he evil. He mad. Yeah, Oh, he really mad. Poor guy. He doesn't like people trying to, you know. Remind him that he has family. Rude. Look, he's just got issues. Fine. Uh, what is the difficulty of the check? The difficulty of the check is an 18. He's probably not going to make him. He does not make it. Ha ha! Dodgy! Plus two to evasion! <laughs> um, even if you don't actively defend, it still has benefits. Yeah. Um, and it is Peter's turn. And, the, and then she kind of just taunts him like, you're gonna have to do better than that! Like, How will you? Get him, trying to get his attention. I will use one of my free actions to summon my saber in sword fashiony goodness. Yep. I shall expend two personal power. Yep. And I shall roll with my specialization. Sorry, I dropped my DT. I got a 16 on my d20, and I crit on my d8. Yeah. Nice. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. So you double your weapon damage, but only your weapon damage. Get it, Pete? Yeah. So. I, so. Well, I added two. Four. I added two personal power, so. It yeah. So does you only three double damage. your base weapon damage. And then you add the... And then, then you, you add, add the rest. Okay, so, yeah. Four. four? Sounds like four. Uh, Dragon Saber, yeah. Uh, it does one sharp damage. So yeah, standard. So and add two. Yeah. yeah. He takes the blow. You see him try to avoid it using his axe to try and turn it aside. Um, but he isn't able to change it back into an axe quickly enough and takes the blow across his chest. You see what appear to be almost sort of almost solar panels reacting as the energy washes across him, but they're not able to absorb the energy fast enough and he does recoil back as he does seem to be damaged from the blow. Question. Um, obviously, I rolled a technology check to scan him earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't specify earlier or ask even if can it be a constant scan throughout the fight or do I have to keep rolling throughout assumed, different tests? You asked to scan him when he morphed. I assumed it was to check his signature when he morphed. Anything okay, else but, I'd ask for a different yeah. technology check. Cool. Uh, in that case, can I do that? 
what do you want to do i, I just want to be scanning looking for uh actively scanning the energy levels that come off of him during certain situations within the fight so obviously how you just depicted that with the solar panels and whatnot mm -hmm. just trying to siphon off as much data from the encounter with him as possible okay uh go ahead and roll me a 20 it'll be a 25 yeah no i missed that i got eight and a three <laughs> <laughs> it looked cool um but yeah um sparkly shiny I made an attack, so that, that... I don't know, because mine's fancier than his. Mine has gold on it. Okay, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> um, um uh, just uh, clarification as well. I've used my main attack action this turn. Can I then use a free action to defend, or would that need me to have not used my main action? You can't free action defend. Sophie can because of a general perk you perk that she's got cool cool yeah. in that case otherwise it's a standard set, action set one uh saying that i'll move use my last two free actions and just bounce back a bit like 10 foot okay just to give everyone some clearance sarah mm -hmm. so i messed up last time just screaming is a downshift by itself, but I missed anyway, so it's fine. So, aim, target willpower, puts me at just straight perform, uh, straight roll okay. with what I have. So, yeah, fourteen or is he b boosting? Uh, no, fourteen. Okay. There it is. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Two screams. She's just going to scream family. You see his empty hand sort of like slam up to his helmet where his ears would be. And he kind of shakes his head in frustration. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, actually. Uh, I have, I'm a Black Ranger. I always forget I'm a Black Ranger. I'm going to give... <laughs> to do. I can do Black you... Ranger stuff. Yeah, I'm going to give both... Oh. Give me your shift. I don't care about it. You've gone, Mike. You're frozen. No, I think he's... No! Both thinking. Pete and Sophie your temporary health. Thing. No, I, I am I having conniption? <laughs> no. I'm giving you both. Oh, you're giving me both? Yeah. Okay. I have three quips. So you both yeah. get a temporary health, and Sophie gets an upshift. Okay, next. Yes. Cool. Okay. I'm going to try... I'm going to... I'm going to try to talk the evil out of him. In just a second. Yeah. Don't talk the evil out of him. him. Just hit him really hard. <laughs> no, that's your job. I don't know. Take him down. Take him down. <laughs> we'll smack anyway. the dumbass out of him. It'll be fine. <laughs> How many story points do we have left? Two? That's three, but they might be wrong. <laughs> okay. No, you know what? I'll take it. Um, yeah. I'm going to. I guess I assume it's a free action. Matt, we so can't hear you. Together. Sorry, I, I muted my microphone when I started choking and didn't unmute it. Are you okay? Yep. You okay? Yeah, the talk the evil out of him <laughs> killed me. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, really. I started laughing. Look, it's what <laughs> it's what not, it was. It's what Captain Mitchell did. I don't think they described know, it like, as talk the evil out of him, but I liked it. Yeah, but he, that's basically what he did, though. Um, okay. Um, can I do the talking bit as yep. well as the shooting bit? Yep. Okay. I'll say the talking bit is going to cost you a free action. 
Sweet. I'm going to do a free action. Because I'm 10 feet away currently. He just turned around and tried yep. to zap me. He didn't try to get closer. Nope. Just tried to okay, shoot you. So... Pew pew. Pew pew. Right. Uh... Just pew. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, free action. I need to use a free action to defend. I'm going to attempt to do that before I shoot. And then I'm going to you, um, if it's okay with everyone, spend a story point to roll my persuasion with specialization. Go okay. ahead. Write that upshift. And the upshift. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm yeah, going to so say... That will be your flat skill because of the downshift you would have got, remember? Oh, yeah. Works for me! Alright. So that's one free action. And then I'm gonna say... Um... Oh, what am I gonna say? Family. Um, I'm gonna say... I know your family very well. Your father and your sister, they miss you every single day. They've missed you for years. Okay, let me see. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I rolled a... Uh, oh, come on! I rolled a 15. I, I rolled max on my... Um, I rolled max on my D4. I... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. And then I'm going to blast him. I'm like, that didn't work. Smack the dub ass out of him. Do it. I'm a blast. Uh, and then I started blasting. I uh, get to roll that one. And uh, roll a 12. That <clears throat> is a miss. Yeah. Ryan. But I got one extra hit point. Temporary hit point. Hell yeah. Yep. With his axe that. in his hand, Ryan advances towards Sophie. He can move 40 yeah. foot, so he'll be able to move through the spaces. I, I have, yeah, I free yeah. action defended too, so That's eat fine. it, Ryan. Um, and he is going to bring that axe down as hard as he can using specialization yep Ugh, uh difficulty 18 she's gonna try to like backflip away from the blow or something she's gonna do a very sophie thing dang that is a lot of ones Forward. that's a very upsetting D20 as well, because the um, one was 20. A, oh, man. Um, <laughs> Get ready, Rai Rai. Yeah. And you see him <laughs> bring the axe down. Poof, backflip. He's clearly angry, like furious. And as he brings yep. it down, he just snarls, more than I ever knew them. And brings the axe back up wait hold up hold up hold up i just want to ask a question oh last until the beginning of the defending character's next turn yep <laughs> I'm like if you're coming in for seconds is he is he, <laughs> he is able to from the looks of it yes <laughs> but he... i rolled a one you rolled a five when I... six yeah that one hits no. When I that's said a you six, six doesn't 21? hit. Oh, I thought you said twenty. No, I rolled a one. I I'm gonna. Roll. He rolled a one. Oh, I thought I heard twenty-one. Okay, sorry. I. Okay, that doesn't hit either. That doesn't hit regardless. Yeah, um, and then, like, oh man, um, yeah, she's just like, what? <laughs> like, it's almost like she's parrying with her her bow as it's like stuck together and she's like wielding it almost like a two-handed staff where she's just blocking it yep 
Ryan will... She says, says, I think when he yells at her, she says, I'm not the enemy here, and neither are they. And she just continues to try to talk, to, like, reach him. (laughs) I'm gonna get murdered. Ryan will make a long jump. (laughs) Is he literally just trying to jump? Like oh, wow. over oh, well. for okay. what's that? Uh, two times three, <laughs> ten foot. So he rounded up, ten foot. <laughs> okay, you wanna back up? Okay, cool. She kind of still I'm has trying, her. Yeah, bow. and then basically, did he? Did he move? Say again. I was going to say, did he move back 10 foot towards us? or no, away from you guys. And okay. will use the rest of his movement and his free actions to move another... 10, 20, 30. Oh, he's sprinting like a... Uh, another 55 foot. He's going to try to find... He's going to try to do a murder on his sister. Oh, no. <laughs> this is much darker than the original Lightspeed Rescue, folks. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Captain here Mitchell did a much well. better job. <laughs> <laughs> or is okay. he looking for something in the museum? Okay, well, it's not my turn, so I guess Pizza's we'll have to turn. Out. He just got mad because he couldn't We're do a murder. How on. far away from me is he now? He's like uh, all of the ways now, away. He's got to be 65 to 70 foot. Depending oh, on then I'll just have to chase know. after him. Oh, wait, can I just teleport? No. No. <laughs> just teleport in front of him, just like, yo, watch out. Not in combat. <laughs> um, um, I will, I suppose, just have to chase after him. I'll use my movement and my free actions to get as close as I can to him. Then I suppose I will pull out my power, my my, my blade blaster. Your blade blaster I'm... has an upshift. Mm-hmm. You're gonna save one free action to get the blaster out. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, what do I roll with with my target? It'd be a one up shift, so it'd be a D4, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, and the blaster side of it does not count as a, spe- like a grid weapon, so I don't get specialization. I rolled a 13. And you're shooting with it anyway, so you don't have specialization in your targeting. targeting. You have specialization in your. Oh, yeah, it's my in it. Yeah, whacking. of course. Um, that in my flash. So as you shoot, he. Ducks underneath the blast and just carries on running. Which brings us to Sarah. Okay. So he's he like is. 70 feet away from all of us, right? You, he is 50, 60 foot away from. Wait, I can sprint towards him. So nice. One free action is. So. I can move 45, which should put me within 30. Yeah. Okay. You can sprint too, though. Yeah. Well, I don't... Uh, yeah. So I'm going to use one free action to draw my blade blaster. Mm-hmm. Oh, get within, get within 30 feet of him. Sarah's so like, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is... D8, D10, D12. I'm going to spend a story point to roll a specialization. Do it. I believe. So Shoot! Uh, one? I think we have it. Yeah. We, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, shift me to a D12. What is the target number? 23. <laughs> Let's yeah. see how it is. Hey. Can't make it easy. Damn it. And I rolled a 12, too. What's <laughs> the four? Like, 
That is awful because you did. You got the 12. That is awesome. But you also oh got my a four. God. Woof. And there's not much you can do with the four. Yeah, if it were a one, we'd be having it. We'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, which will bring us to Pew. Sophie's turn. Are you kicking your ass the here this time? Ducks under another six... blow. He's 60 feet away. Did he duck over? Is he standing? Can I sprint towards him and clothesline him? <laughs> He's still <laughs> running, my so sprint... you can chase him. Can I? Well, I have 35 feet of movement, so I would yep. like to sprint up to 70, because you said he was 60 feet away from me? Yep. Can I use that extra 10 feet to just tackle him? You as need to part use of a standard, standard action to do that. Well, well, I sprinted as a standard action. So yeah, so can you, I? You, no, you'd be looking at... Uh, Come on, it would be so rad. It would be. I'm Let not disagreeing with you. <laughs> Look, he's never going to see it coming. Okay, fine. Um, Alas, mechanically, it cannot just, work. Just kick his foot out. Like, as he's I running. mean, you... <laughs> Wait, we are I Power just... Rangers. You could use your move action to try to make a jump if you jump movement, far what's, enough. What's your uh, athletics like? Uh, non-existent. He's got a D4, and I um, have, I have, I, I, I still have managed to roll a seven. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gymnast. I'm not a what a, a jumpy. Well, that's weird because I feel like uh, acrobatics should be a good like substitute for it because she is an athletic person, but not athletics uh, acrobatics. So it's weird. Could I do it with acrobatics instead, though, as a gymnast? I will let you try it this time for the story. <laughs> Just this Just once. Just this time. <laughs> Because I want to see if it works. I want to see if it works too. Okay, so tackle like this man to the floor. Ju a running jump, tackle so this the man. The difficulty is five if you move ten foot first. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like run my full thirty-five and then jump at him for okay. the rest of it. And, what did you and then roll? I rolled a 15 with a 4 on my d4. So. Oh, 45 feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Um, subtract the 5. So it'd be 10 foot times 3. So 30. But you got a critical yeah, success. Yeah. So we could throw another 10 foot in there because it's not really discussed. Yeah, but he was 40. 60 and I moved 35. So he's, he's not yeah. that. He's away. within distance. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, do I just... Make your standard action. Can I... Yeah? Yeah, you yeah try I would like to... Grapple, grapple him to the floor and hold I... on for dear life. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to <laughs> take him out and, uh, like, tackle him to the floor. Like, wrap your arms and legs around him. Get on top of wrong. him. <laughs> you you know how big... Of... Koala hugged the purple generator thing. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, imagine he is the purple generator and you are Pete. You know what? <laughs> Koala I, I like... hugged this man. I'm in your inner Pete. You know what? I will I just... give you an upshift for your jump being oh. higher than him. Um, we'll make a grappling. Okay. Grappling? Oh, that's do you want to grapple track, him, or do you want to try and knock him prone? I want to knock him prone, but like land on top of him when I do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I see <laughs> drop this bitch. Fuck! <laughs> Close line. <laughs> now I'm ima I'm imagining. In Amazing Spider-Man, when he he runs up to the burglar and just shouts "crotch" and just jumps at him like legs first. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> just land okay, on his chest, on top of him, just like no, bitch. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But he's more also more. running away, so he has his back turned. So I want to land on his back and be like, you finesse it, so you turn him around mid fall. It's no. fine. <laughs> no, I land. I I want to <laughs> knock him over face first, and I'm just gonna say, you never turn your back on a Blue Ranger. <laughs> his face off the floor. And just... <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so um, is it a oh, right bait oh, check? I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> Stop uh, you're being need bad. To make me an unarmed attack. Uh, unarmed so it's going to be either finesse no. or might, whichever one of the two of them. Oh, hey, I don't get a a snag on finesse. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Matt gave you an upshift as well, don't forget. Oh, sick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I rolled a 12. Matron. I can't re-roll ones on finesse checks, unfortunately. Feels bad. As you come flying towards him, he just <laughs> sort of like ducks, catches hold of your arm with his empty hand and throws you that extra five ten feet over his shoulder you land on your yeah. feet but those extra few feet that you did jump um yeah. do i have any free actions left at this point because oh god i think so you didn't yeah because really you just use your movement and your yeah yeah, yeah. and I, she's technically in front of him now yeah she yeah. is in front is of him. Is it a free action? Can I can I attempt to trip him? That's what <laughs> is that, no, can I use... that would be what you just did when you used your okay. standard action. No. I was like, alright. And then I just um I do have a free action to try to like do the talky talk. Yeah. And yeah. It's, like... it's just like guy, like, yes, I did just try to knock you down. But <laughs> it's for your own good. <laughs> Did just hit you really hard with a sword. I may have shot at you a couple of times, but hey, we can be calm friends. down. <laughs> You're overreacting to all these people attacking you. I think what she's going to say is, I understand that you're angry. I would be too, but we can talk this out. Whoever, um, whoever you're working for, they have been lying to you. And then I'm going to attempt to do the thing. Uh, I'm going to do the talky-talky thing. Remember the oh, downshift. Oh, 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 I rolled an 18 with that downshift. With the downshift. Yeah. So come on. You can't possibly believe the demons that have been, that you've been working with. I mean, the yeah, demons have been I pretty think... friendly with him for the last, like, 15 years. <laughs> You guys you know, have met him, raised him twice alive. and <laughs> yeah, but attacked he's him He's also, twice. like, been angry. Okay, but he's also been, like, been, like, rage attacking innocent people and stuff. Like, he hasn't been innocent, um, but also, like... I mean, he was raised by demons. To him, that is appropriate behavior. Yeah, listen... I rolled that 18. You just rolled the 18. <laughs> one nut I'm just really sad that back. the D4 was a 1. And I couldn't re-roll it. I'm like, this isn't a targeting check. Look, I just... This is my my big wish. This so is, This is it. You have, this so far, in my box of Ryan being healed, you have one success. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna out of like seventeen. No, it's not out of seventeen, but it's not one success. But no, it I is get it. Cumulative. You are one step closer to saving Ryan. Let's ignore that. Let's ignore that. That was an intentional reference, and we will move on. Yeah, I'm gonna. Keep you see me? To just creep back in on that screen, then, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will move on. I'm, I'm staring at um, my cat, and then you make that. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep trying. Yep, but you have in. I don't think this is gonna show it, but in my box of Ryan's success, you have one it's, success. It's in the notes. Box. There's, there's a, a box. whole box of just. There's a whole box of just talking, Ryan. Oh, you do Talking not want to see my notes. You do not want to see my notes. <laughs> Murder Sophie. <laughs> there are so <laughs> many notes. 
Um, but then okay. Matt, I think it, so far. It's, I, it's. I think we both know very much. I very much want to see the notes. <laughs> Peter, yeah. what you got? Oh wait, is it Ryan? It's Ryan's turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now Ryan's turn. Ryan. I don't have off. a defend either. The, the, Ryan sort of skids to a halt, and for a moment you can see, for the first time since you started talking to him, there's a flash of doubt in his eyes. I I repeat what I said, not for, more for dramatic than for actually doing anything, but I repeat it, like, uh, opening my visor just to expose my eyes dang people i can do that right yeah um okay. who is closer out of peter and sarah i want to say sarah i think it's me. i think it's me yeah, yeah. Um, okay yeah didn't peter like do a whole bunch of running i think it's peter so actually. sarah yeah i got what yeah. i got within 30 to who take my shot yeah we both Peter? attacked because we both shot. I think we're both with it. Okay. Who's got, who's who might got be the highest it? base movement? You both got 30 foot? Uh, yeah, 30 foot. Both of three foot. reactions. Yeah, I, I, no, four, four three actions, sorry. I, I spent three running. You would have and been and running four, as well. Yeah, I think I, you would have had same. to use one for so many weapons. Yeah. Also, I to be fair, you're both in the same position. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In that case, he'll make a swing at both of us. <laughs> he is going to turn around and run towards uh, the city. Ask the dice. Towards some innocent civilians. He's going to run towards <laughs> uh, the Green Ranger. Oh no! Bring his Hang tight, buddy. axe. Up and swing story it. point. <laughs> you have we have one one story point. Do you wish to use your story yeah. point? I mean, if Sarah is cool with it, if I'm, I'm fine with it, yeah, 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 let's do this. What is the difficulty? 24. That's fine. Uh oh, <laughs> because he has two attacks. And you only get to use a story point against one. Uh, cool. That's cool. Then you don't die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Tank one. So that makes the 19. Let's see if he can hit once tonight. Come Block on, Block with my sword. Yeah, he hits oh. with that. And that is yeah. a critical success. So yeah, indeed it is. Have, four. You have the 10 hit point. Four damage. Ah, uh, that'll knock me out then. Oh, bother. Are you gonna stay morphed? It's okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'll stay morphed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does, that put wait, me on... does that knock you out yeah. with the? Does it knock you out with the temp HP? Yeah, the temp, with the temp HP. I had exactly full health. Okay, it's fine. I can. Do <laughs> I like the I face hair. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, like, do, I, do I? Do I stay with one HP? Uh, no, if you no, choose to stay HP morphed, anymore. you're defeated. If you're choosing to unmorph, you're unconscious with one HP. Okay, yeah, no, stay morphed. Okay. These guys we'll can skip Peter's turn then and go to Sarah. Mm. Who he's right oh, next you to now. Yeah. Uh am going to scream in his face. <laughs> oh, God. Targeting willpower. And I'm going to aim. <laughs> I'm going to use that a story point. <laughs> Putting you at 19? Yeah. Hit him really hard. Oh. <laughs> and I actually used my black story point token as well. That's mean. 
Okay. Well, that, um, yeah. <laughs> Which will be I am... Sophie. Um, how far away is Peter from? From you, forty. To Roughly forty tackle. foot. Yeah. Oh God, for fuck's sakes! Okay, I'm gonna go towards Peter. I'm gonna use thirty-five feet. No, actually, it's two. I said you can heal sixty. You did. You didn't f bomb. You didn't f bomb. Michael yeah, almost a... f bomb. Oh, the, the other ones are fine. No. It's the f bomb. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I like thirty-five how feet, and I'm gonna use a free action. I'm gonna use a free action to um. I'm gonna use a free action to get the extra five feet, and then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a thing. That Technically, does work within be. sixty foot if you're doing the thing that I think you're doing. Uh, do I really want to stay? Actually, yeah, that's true. No, I'm gonna continue. I'm, um, I'm gonna get in Ryan's face instead. How far away did he move? He ran. So he's actually the same 30. distance. Minus five foot. Yeah. So 30 foot. Oh, okay. So, no. Actually, I'm going to stay where I am. Because Peter's 40 feet. And I am going to spend a personal power to get him get him up. Get him up. Get him up. I'm going to use Helping Hand, one of my free actions. To restore one health. So that's one free action. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm alive. Um, Am I conscious again then? You can be. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, so that's one free action. I'm going to use a free action to defend. I'm going to use another free action to aim. And then I'm going to shoot with. My, I'm going to. I'm going to use my last free action to try to talk to Ryan again. I'm going to say, I know you're in there. I know you're, I know that there is a world of good inside of you. Um, oh, yeah. I rolled a 16. I rolled a two on my D2. Heck yeah. Those demons, they're liars. I know they're still good in you. But the difficulty is 18. Oh, I thought it was 16. Uh, it feels bad. I'm still going to yell it at him. I was just say, I feel really bad because you got like you, you made it last time and then you was really excited. And I'm like, but the difficulty is 18. No, I know. I got. I forgot that the difficulty was eighteen. You made me feel really yeah. bad. I'm like, you feel bad? Yeah. Uh, no, it was. It was. It was actually my bad. I, I, knew, like, I knew what your the difficulty was. My ADHD. It's like she's so no, excited. No, my ADHD. That's my fine. ADHD. It's fine. Um. Oh, hey! Did you know that you could trade in standard actions for free actions? Because I didn't until right now. <laughs> that was two days old when I found this out. <laughs> no, it's only really. your speed is garbage when that works. Is that is that what the... Yeah, you gotta have a speed of two or less for that to be a thing. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. I, I am just gonna yeah, chill here and defend and, and continue yeah. to yell at uh, continue to yell at Ryan. As I'm trying to get through to him. Also, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel bad for my no, ADHD. No, it's fine. I just felt like guilty for a moment because I dashed your hopes. You, you know. No, it's fine. I just will <laughs> play it out no. even if it fails. It's your job to dash our hopes. <laughs> I don't like always doing it. <laughs> um, I think it's me. Ryan's turn again. Uh, it'd be yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. I'm going to make. Yeah, the other uh, day, we're doing a real good job. we considering it's three of us. <laughs> Even with you getting your ass handed, you beat. 
Yeah. <laughs> Who was it that said it last week? Did anyone see that the number of that truck? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to say as well when she like when when uh, Sophie healed him, he literally like flips up to onto his feet, just like ow. <laughs> Ryan backs away. warily axe held in his hand and heads towards one of the walls where he retrieves what appears to be a stave about two and a half foot long with runes encircling the whole thing it's Ivory bone yellowed with age, and he grabs hold of it, looks over at you, and just says, Maybe you can pass on my warm feelings to my father and sister. We'll be visiting them soon. And teleports. Away. Just kick your ass again. Reach down a hand to help Pete up. Get out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, Sophie quickly uh, shuts her visor uh, before the rest of her team sees it. Uh, after she's tried to talk to Ryan. And, um,. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 it's a whole thing. Whatever that was, he got it. Yeah, what he wanted. <sighs> yeah, question is, what was it? Some sort of stave, staff thing. With the old... Can I make a culture check? You can make a culture check. Hey. I could also be really kind and point out that you're in a library, uh, a museum, museum and, and we look over things. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Just go check out what it was. <laughs> let's go look at the label. Let me fail the roll and then you go. <laughs> 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 culture then. Um, <laughs> it's a stick. Yeah. All right. Maybe let's go look at the board. I don't know what it is. Not a history major. What's the plaque say? It claims to have been found at a dig site recently in Mariner Bay. It says that it is a runic stave, an unknown language, part of several items three of which were damaged beyond recognition. Great. Seems to be several thousand years old. Take a couple of pictures of where it used to be so we have got that information can pass on is there like a little photo thing of it next to it or whatever there is but it's blurry not enough to actually pick out the um the runes uh not necessarily to pick out the runes but just so we have a general yeah image that we can show like alpha and whatnot and did you did you say it was a stave or a glaive stave Dave. staff like runic stuff, stage. right? Uh, Scepter ish. About 5,000 years ago. Mm. Possibly. That seems to be when it was dated. Uh, we should go check on Lightspeed, see if they still need help. Yep, that is a very good point. Yeah. 
Take us to light speed, Alpha. You Where are, is the light speed team? You are teleported out of the museum into uh, the town, into the city of Mariner Bay in time to see the light speed rescue zord battling the giant demon form of the creature that uh, Carter was fighting on his own. Maybe not the best yeah. place to be standing, but you arrive literally just in time to see the light speed rescue zord um, use its sword to draw a circle of fire and slash through it, destroying the giant demon in one final blow. That is terribly impressive in person. Oh my. I think once they get off their zords and everything, like whether it's in the aqua base or whatever, Sophie is going to want to reach out to the team and check in with them, like debrief a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to tell everybody like, what happened. Yeah. We, sh we should. And uh, yeah, we got to, yeah. I haven't told them about you guys, but they know who I am. I spoke to the captain earlier. So I I made it I made it clear to him that you as individuals can decide when to reveal yourself. Hopefully that will appease Q because I haven't had a chance to talk to Q yet. All right, it's fine. So let's go check in with Lightspeed. Yep. They meet you back in the aqua base. Um, their zords return to the individual areas that they are summoned from. And helmets off. Captain Mitchell watching, not from afar, but just off to the corner. Kruger near him, watching quietly yeah, I'll take my helmet off sort of penetrating Sarah's taking her helmet off yeah. Sophie does too what about Pete yeah Pete takes his off as well um Sophie kind of timidly almost timidly walks over to Carter because she knows that they had that moment on the battlefield and she says Hey, I just wanted to apologize if I overstepped my boundaries earlier. You were right. I get a bit focused with the problem in front of me. I thought that if I could defeat whatever that was, then everything would be okay. But the battling just kept getting further and further into the city and we did need reinforcements and we got we got two teams don't ask for our help sophie um sophie looks up at um carter and she says oftentimes the solution is never as simple as just defeating one enemy and apparently, you know, it wasn't even the enemy in front of us that we needed to be worried about. Did you stop? And Carter looks over to make sure that Dana isn't close by before Did you stop, Ryan. No. We kicked his ass, but he got what he was coming for. We tried. He's got a mean swing with that axe, I must say. Yeah. Um... Hey, Peter. Yeah? Uh, you should have Dana check you out for, um, you know, after after you got knocked out. You should just have her. Um, yeah, that, that, I don't feel too bad. But... She 
like that's a bit so and she just gestures at Dana's direction as in like please just do it to be a distraction <laughs> cool <laughs> just kind of like moses on over yeah um and then she continues this conversation like with yeah her. i uh we got we got some images of where the thing was and a photo of the blurry photo of the thing is a stave like 5,000 year old stave found here in Mariner Bay recently. He's I'm sure if you hit the museum records, they will be able to tell you much more about it than we can. But he's collecting ancient artifacts, I'm sure for... he's doing it on behalf of uh, <laughs> the demons? demons. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that's all I got for you. I'm I'm sorry we couldn't have stopped him. We tried. Considering it was just three of us, we did real well. We handed him his ass. We made him run. The demons were imprisoned roughly 5,000 years ago. He must be collecting items to free them. When you say Dave? Yeah, it was about yay big, had like runic writing on it. I mean, yeah. Like it was made of ivory, maybe like, bone. Like a, like like a, a stick. stick? Yeah. A wand? Yeah. Scepter, maybe? Yeah. Like a sorcerer might have. Yeah, I mean, here's this blurry photo. <laughs> Hook my helmet into something to like pipe it out. <laughs> Look up the museum <laughs> records to find out exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah. Music- um... Yeah. Also, just hack the museum. Uh, <laughs> Captain Mitchell, we might have a problem. Just one. And then, um. Is this so? Is this the key to freeing them from their internal prison? Captain Mitchell approaches and looks at the photo, and they're already free. But from what we've been able to piece together, an individual the records identify as the Sorcerer of the Sands was the one that locked them away almost five thousand years ago. Hmm. If this belonged to them, perhaps it could be used to banish them once again. And it's why they've claimed it. Preemptive strike to prevent, yeah, that uh, makes sense. We will approach the museum and see if there's anything else they've found and identify the site they dug it up from. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Rangers, thank you. Uh, Sophie. First captain. Of yeah. course, captain. Yeah. And she looks she looks at Carter and kind of pulls him aside for an extra piece um, away from everyone else. And she says, listen, this is going to sound absolutely wild. But I think there were moments that I could actually get through to Ryan. I think he can hear me. You think? I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. I don't know how well I'll be able to reach him. Maybe. But maybe Dana can. I don't... I'm starting to wonder if keeping her away from her brother is the move. We'll have to keep trying she might then. Be the, she might be the only one who can actually reach him. I'll, I'll speak to Captain Mitchell and suggest it. Look. I need you to... For the sake of my... Best friend, I need you to 
I need you to keep an eye on your team, but I especially need you to keep an eye on her. This is a really delicate situation, and I've been on the receiving end of some big blows. I just want her to be okay, and I know you do too. I'll do my best. You have my word. She reaches up and like squeezes him, squeezes him in the shoulder and says, I, I know. Um, maybe she and I can reach Ryan together. I don't know, but um, that's all I got. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. I mean, me and the boys, we tried our best. Uh, me and Peter and Sarah, we tried our best. There's one of the boys. Started. Well, I mean, the light speed boys. Sorry. Uh, if sorry, you started what was to that? get through to him, then we'll have to keep trying. And if Dana can maybe help, then. We can't keep protecting her forever. And maybe six rangers can help turn the tide. He seems He's to got... have an uncanny ability to wield that axe. Something I told Captain Mitchell earlier, I think, once... The morphing grid chooses you, it finds a way. Maybe the morphing grid chose Ryan. Maybe it could have chose him after we'd helped him. Look, I don't know how it works, mm -hmm. honestly. It's all alien to me. The grid works in mysterious ways. <laughs> And then she looks over at where Captain Mitchell is standing, and she says, um, I gotta go take care of something. And then, um, she walks over to Sarah and Peter, and she says, Hey, guys. Yeah? I have some business to take care of while I'm here. You guys I, can yeah. teleport back to Angel Grove, do whatever you need to do. Um... I'm going to have a conversation with my father. A conversation, Captain Mitchell. Uh, Are you having the conversation? Me? Are you going to tell him? I don't know about telling my mother, but he's military. If anyone's going to understand, it's going to be him. I mean, I don't disagree with your choice. I'm just, it's a big choice. I'm going to have, I'm going to have that conversation with him. I know mm -hmm. my mom has a shift, so I can pretty much just get him on his own. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't. If you, if it's someone you trust, I don't see any reason to keep the secret from them. There's, I, I say good luck. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's really only my dad that I'd really inclined to tell. Honestly. And now that Lightspeed knows, at least on my end, I have no one else I feel inclined to tell. And then. Yeah. Today <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> Sorry. A win. I was, today wasn't a win for us, but it wasn't a loss either. The three of us showed oh, yeah. that guy what we can do. He ran. Don't forget that. Yeah, I know. Wasn't what I thought it would be. But I guess not all hope is lost. And we'll find she... a way to bring him back. We'll bring Kim back. And Tommy, maybe. Even as I assume Tommy's still alive. She, um... She looks, before she leaves, she looks at Peter and Sarah and says, 
remind me to tell you later about how I was on the short list for light speed. And oh, then shit. she walks Oh damn. She walks <laughs> she walks she walks off to go and um This page right here. <laughs> teleport to her uh parents parents' house. That that was a bit of a mic drop moment, wasn't it? Um yeah. Should we go home? Yeah. Uh Dana, Kelsey, you coming? Uh, you need to stay here and debrief some more. Or should we stay here and debrief some more? What's, what, what, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, you can debrief. I've got some more stuff to work out. So um, fill me in. And people just teleport away. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> uh, Sarah like... speaks for all of us now. <laughs> He's on a one-track line, that guy. <laughs> I must go back to work. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. We will flip to Sophie and cover off the last of uh, Sophie's day. And we will explore in the next focus episodes what happens on the days for the other people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Sophie teleports back into her childhood bedroom. Yeah, her backpack is on her bed, and you know, like she's just um, she changes she out changes of whatever sweaty outfit she's wearing, and uh, just wears like her school sweats, like um, just very casual. She uh, does not wear, she goes out of her way not to wear any blue. Um, <laughs> and then she later. checks to um, see if her dad is home. He is downstairs sitting at the dinner table. He is tucking into a uh, rice dish that his wife left um, just some leftovers she that she left her before she went for her shift yeah um, the the hob is on um, saucepans are boiling away whilst he is eating leftovers. He seems very intent on cooking a nice, healthy meal for his wife, so that when she gets back from her shift, she has something nice to tuck into. Sophie is familiar with this system. They always, like, have had each other's backs. Like, you know, especially after her dad retired from the military and, like, went back to civilian life. Um, it think she'll say um she'll uh, i think her story is that she was taking a nap and um he he wasn't home when she got here like i think that's her story she's just gonna go oh hey dad uh sophie um your mum did say she thought she heard noise in your bedroom. I was going ah, to I... check to see if there was any... Well, to be honest with you, I thought maybe a squirrel had got it. Or... No, I, um... I was... I was in and out today. I, um... Yeah, you weren't... I didn't see anyone here while, um when i came in but then i went for a nap and you know time just got away from me today um hi hello um, how's well i'd i'd ask how um med school is going but or pre-med but i remember it no time to sleep no time to think um, yeah, I actually, um, made a decision recently, um, uh, 
to change to just a uh, biology major. I think that with oh. the uh, athletics and the training and uh, some stuff that happened to me okay. a few weeks ago, I don't think I can handle the pressure of uh, pre-med right now um well, and she as she speaks sits down gent carefully in front of her dad and your mother she says um, and i always want what's best for you of course if it's too much at the moment then yeah i feel like it's something i'll circle back around to once I figure out my life. I mean, I still want to save people. I still want to help people. And um, in a really strange way, um, I, I'm i doing that now. Um, uh, I... just, just please tell me you're going to complete your college course. If just... No, Don't no, enlist. absolutely. If you want to join the military, please complete your college first. Join the it, commission, it's, become it's an not, officer. No, it's not like that. I have no interest in the military. Um, actually, I've been working with the Angel Grove Emergency Services. So okay. I think once I've completed my biology degree, I might just become an EMT, a full EMT, um, I just, you're not going to believe this, but I kind of accidentally became a Power Ranger. Sorry, I, it must be the, the tinnitus, but No, uh, I, as it turns out, I got a scholarship to a university in a place full of space aliens. And, no, no, there, uh, there was space aliens ten years ago. Uh, they're back? No, they, no they, um, the, the demons are in Mariner Bay. And the aliens are in Angel Grove. I know this is a lot. I've been, I've spent the last month, month and a half trying to figure it out. I, and trying to balance everything. I, I wanted to tell you, but there was a whole bunch of rules and stuff. And then we just decided to break the rules recently. So you're, you tell know, me I. That Bill did not recruit you against my wishes. No, Uncle Bill didn't do it. He had no idea up until today. So you're not part of his team? No, but I am working with a team that is working with them. Well, we help each other, but I'm not officially a part of Lightspeed, if that's what you're asking. I think that might need to stop. You're a, I mean, you're a healer, Sophie. You fix I things, you I fix needed, people. Father. I And you know what? That's what got me noticed in the first place. That's why I was given the power. There's some kind of metaphysical connection to this power and she um, holds she holds up like she pulls the power coin off of her morpher and she holds it in her, the palm of her hand this isn't something i can explain to you this isn't something that uncle bill had people make for him this is beyond that and they needed someone to 
fix people. They needed someone to help. And, and it what chose happened me. to the people that helped 10 years ago? Where are they? Where are their parents? I don't know, Dad. I don't. I just... I know that I go where I'm needed. I know that when people are hurt, I need to be there. I don't expect you to understand, but this is bigger than just man-made technology and man-made powers. But I wanted you to know. I wanted you to know that this wasn't something Uncle Bill put on me. It's something so much bigger. Because I didn't want you to be mad at him. Well. I appreciate your honesty. If not the decisions you've made. Clearly, this is already impacting your life. If you've already had to decide to give up your pre-med. I've been through your example, but I can't just... ...sit and let things happen. For that... For what that's worth, I think that's one of the most valuable lessons you've ever taught me. You realize if something happens to you, I will bring the full force of the military down. Somehow. I will bring them into Angel Grove. Aliens. Hope that it doesn't come to that. Um, and she kind of just looks down at the empty, like, spot on the table and she says... Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you before, and I'm sorry that I've made choices you don't agree with, but they are my choices, and they have nothing to do with Lightspeed Rescue, even if the team I'm working with does cooperate with them and work with them. What happens in, what happened in Angel Grove has nothing to do with anything that's happening here and for the second time in my entire life i have another place i can actually call home you know we've moved around for so long and you know now that i've made Angel Grove my home, it feels just no. like Mariner Bay does. And I have friends there. I will respect the I will respect the decisions that you have made, but I also reserve the right to discuss this with you further at a later date, should your choices change. Of course, Daddy. Listen. I couldn't talk about it before, but now 
we can talk, and I know your military background. You'll be able to give me some great advice. Generally, we both fight. I just patched I... people up. Yeah, but so do I. Last I checked, and we... there were no aliens either. Well, in the end, we're both people who patch other people up in the middle of some really intense situations, right? I learned from the best. I've had the best example. You are not making me feel any better about this. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth, Daddy. Your mother is going to kill me. Yeah, I thought I'd leave that one to you. I gotta go <laughs> to the room for class. <laughs> oh, sorry, I love that. I'm going to leave that one to you. Peace out, see you later. I'm off. Have fun being murdered, bye. <laughs> and on that <laughs> lovely... Not at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. Lovely, heartwarming family note. Yeah. Super supportive of your dad. Yeah. He... <laughs> I don't think... Before you, before you even ask him that, that was my favourite moment of the episode. <laughs> your mother is going to kill me. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Uh, what about uh, you? I'm also uh, Michael. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a good moment. Yeah. Okay. I did thoroughly enjoy actually beating Ryan's ass. Yeah, that did not go the way I expected. <laughs> also, talk about family. what you expected happened there. <laughs> I, I toned him down. I didn't want him to be like, he wasn't Kim powerful. Yeah, we are level four, so yeah, it was three of us. He was between, went, yeah. Um, I went from like zero to let's talk evil out of him to let's try some like WWE moves on this guy. Let's talk evil then, out of him to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? Bam! <laughs> dagger, dagger. And as slightly narcissistic as it may sound, favorite moment: the Mega Gyro. Did anybody hear what he said after favorite moment? Oh, was this mega mega robot giant Jenga? That's what I thought you said. Oh, yeah, Jenga. that was great. Jenga yeah, that tower. Was, I did thoroughly enjoy Zord Jenga. Zord Jenga. <laughs> I love the i I love the dynamic between Sarah, Sophie, and Peter. Yeah, Just that the was three quite interesting. Of them. Especially around so the dinner great. table. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> so Pete, yeah, I love the same as I anyone love... else. No one feels safe around him. <laughs> what? <laughs> we oh, just God, give him bro. shit for the oh, explosion. Oh, poor Dana. Like, you're gonna send me with him, but yeah, I'm Dana. <laughs> okay, but like, you that didn't. I was actually gonna, like, I thought of, I, I was like. I thought there'd be something more there, like of Dana just kind of talking to Peter <laughs> about Sophie or something. Just because, okay, aside from the fact that it's my focus episode and it's kind of narcissistic, I thought maybe it would just be funny. Like, <laughs> way to set up Dana and Peter. Oh, hey, we can do some Dana and Peter flashback point <laughs> in Peter's focus episode <laughs> before we go no, to the it's more Peter of like, day. It's it's just, I just want I just thought it would be funny like the way Sophie tried to intervene with Carter yeah. and Dana that Dana would do the same for her in that really weird way like I, I just thought it would be it. funny but yeah <laughs> because Peter it. is so awkward we'll just like in, um, in the Peter day just before we jump onto the next or, or like the fourth a... day in a row we'll just have a moment where we'll recap what happened on the day. And throw in a few moments that just take a little bit of time. To Stop being awkward, Peter. Into. 
Someone, yeah. someone needs to just tell him to stop being awkward. Just like just we're going to go into Sarah doing the uh, recap of the battle against Ryan. Um, because everybody else abandoned her. So she has to Turn tell Lightspeed how that went. Sarah I has to do the paperwork. <laughs> Can I just point out, Tate being awkward is not something he can stop. Because I can't <laughs> <laughs> but are you kidding? I'm a pro at you know avoiding being awkward. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, that was a fun session. I, I don't know what I was expecting, it. but yeah. that was fun. <laughs> things happened. Good things. Bad things. No, there was only one and a half f bombs. Literally one and a half. I love that he's I counting it. We <laughs> did oh, like an almost f bomb, <laughs> like the start of the video. I was like, oh. <laughs> I love that you caught yourself, buddy. Um. Anyway, that was great. Are we just um going around the table? Yeah. Saying bye bye to the people. We are. Uh, there is no villain recap until after the last of the focus days. <laughs> Via villain villain oh, recap. Yep. Is it like all of the emotional damage from Ryan's perspective? All of the <laughs> consequences from what happens. Consequences coming. <laughs> okay, but like screw the Ranger Slayer. I love the story arc. Can we just stay in Mariner Bay? <laughs> <laughs> no. We have to save Kim so I can become pink. It's just like a bounce back and forward between Andrew Grove, Mariner Bay. Andrew Grove, Mariner Bay. Andrew Grove, Mariner Bay. Uh, yeah. Andrew Mariner Bay. Mariner Grove. Let's, we, can, we can wrap this up. Angel Bay. And then continue talking about it later. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed, please like, follow, subscribe, etc., 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 we are almost at 40, which was our goal for this moment in time. It'd be nice to hit that 40 before Christmas. Be a Christmas present. Um, tell your friends. Drag tell them your here. friends. Tell everybody. We will yeah. not be here next I'm not week. your friend. Yeah, that's eventually get Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. But we will be here the week after... And is I'm it just Peter's turn checking. on the first? I want to say I'm it's next. actually panic. Is it you next? And then panic after? Yeah. It's Sarah's yeah. turn. Michael slash Sarah's turn next. Okay. To have the focus episode. Wait, when, when is Peter's? Because I only saw three Nick? or four dates. Peter's will be after. after. That's the last one. Yeah. And then Peter's panics after that? Yeah. Yeah. I am the very last one. Oh, panic and then... Well, we, we got Q at some point. Yeah. We got to give Q one, but, you know. Yep. <laughs> it will be... Um, so, when Q, when Q comes back, a little peek behind the curtain, because Q gets to... Q's going away somewhere nice. Q can... Yeah, Jay exists. He's just in the chat. He can tell people if he wishes to tell people, but he's going away somewhere nice. Um, when he comes back, we will find out where he has been. I know where he's been. I mean, the character. I've already worked it out. Um, and cool things will be happening when he returns. Ooh. I'd like to say okay. that he may have told Pete where he's gone, but Jay, you're watching. You can come in on that if that's a thing. Um, and yes, when he returns, there will be a bit of a all characters episode, and then there will be a more of a focus on Peter episode. But everybody will be here, and I think that brings us pretty much to Christmas. I'm gonna take a shot for every time Peter causes an explosion in his focus episode. <laughs> So, <laughs> as we were saying before we got distracted, thank you very much for joining everybody. Have a fantastic day. Have a great 
two weeks. Great Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your families, your friends. Be nice to each other. Be excellent. And may the power protect you. Ha, got it before the rest of you. <laughs> Much love, everybody. None of us Let's care. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, all.